<laughs> All right. Let us just do the. Um, oh, I need to turn this up with Instagram. Now I've got to do the live. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Um, I think next week we'll, uh, oh wait, get, get, get ready. What's up everybody? Um, happy Thursday. I look like very svelte in my um, Niobe uh, hoodie. Let's see. <laughs> happy thursday everyone on instagram and youtube uh i am going to let you guys know we're on mostly on youtube live tonight hop on over to at ooh, at stranger comics on youtube live post and pin Woo. all right what's up everybody on instagram what is up 2z what's up hive what's up i blocker we are also on um we're also on youtube hey everybody on youtube good to see everybody what's going on let let us know that you're here and in the chats hey everybody um happy thursday happy happy thursday well i have a nice sit. We've just returned from Emerald City Comic Con. Woo! Goodness gracious. Um, having a sip of tea for you lovely, lovely people. What's up, Espresso on uh, YouTube? What is up, Sarets? Uh, What's up, A78? A What's up, Ali? What's up, Schwazine? Uh, if you guys are on Instagram, if you can, hop on over to YouTube Live. All right, we've got a special evening planned tonight. I've got my um, Afro Jerry Seinfeld edition, Quincy pointed out. I've got this extra, the extra party in the back right here. It's all kind of fluffy and weird. Um, what's up, Doppelhammer79? Happy Thursday. Indeed, indeed. If you can't, what's up, Dull Tread? Yes, if you guys are on Instagram, hop on over to YouTube. And come and hang out with us on YouTube Live. And you get a chance to win tonight, oh shit, a very rare silver metal book right here. You get to win, you get a chance to win a very, Soretzi, thank you, I appreciate that. Soretzi, um, what's up, Celeste? Um, did we make Big Bank? Um, we made... We made the national bank. We made so much bank. It was banky. It was the. It was Banksy. Um, what's up, Misty? Happy Thursday, darling. As you know, we're over on YouTube too. Um, we do the double action, but this is where you can win tonight, folks. It's a lovely, lovely metal edition of Tales of Asunder: First Kill. What's up, Lily? We are also on YouTube. So hop on over to YouTube Live. This is where you can win tonight a very beautiful, rare metal edition comic. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll some dice right now. I'm going to roll some dice right now. You're welcome for the homage. And you might want to stick around if you like the outcast homage. All right. I just rolled the dice because tonight you can get a chance to win a... Let's see if I can reach for it on the reach arounds. You get a chance to win the Ghost Metal Outcast Homage. You might be able to get this tonight as well. That's what you can get tonight. Um, there was a dude that came on here when Kanan was on, and he bought a bunch of stuff, including this, and he has not paid for it. He has not emailed me back. So if you're on tonight, please email me back because you claim this, and there's only two of these, okay? So this is... This is um, this is one of the Outcast homages. Obviously, on I'm on YouTube and I'm on uh, Instagram. God, it's getting hot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this beautiful Naivy hoodie. Now, here's the cool shit, guys. If we get to 50 likes on the YouTube link, if we get to 50 likes on the YouTube link, we would every person that purchases something purchases something will literally get 
something extra for free. So make sure you hop on over to Stranger Comics YouTube Live. Misty is on. Are you on? Misty's on. Um, where are you? I've lost it. Lost it. Josh, I just emailed you the number. Um, if you're not on YouTube Live, make sure you go over to YouTube Live and you also, good Lord, you also click like, subscribe, hit the remind me buttons. Yeah, this is, there we go. Good Lord, it's really hot. What's up, Hot Mustard Gas? Good to see you. All right, I can actually breathe again. Woo! All right, too much. That was way too much. What's up, everybody? Yeah, happy Thursday. How do you win this? How do you win this? Pick a number from one to 100. The closest number to the number I rolled is going to win this beautiful metal edition right here. That's what you can win tonight at 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. All right. That's what you can win tonight. 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. I'm doing a really big giveaway, folks, tonight. A really big giveaway. Um so keep those numbers coming. If you are on, um, if you're on Instagram, hop on over to YouTube and click like, click subscribe. Get a chance to win this beautiful, beautiful comic right here. This metal edition that's worth, according to CGC and eBay and CBCS and um, Cespresso and Sis and suspect and everything everybody basically values this at around fifty eight thousand dollars i think daryl was saying right blame daryl he values this around fifty eight thousand dollars fifty eight thousand dollars this is what you can win tonight folks this is a beautiful beautiful comic right here so hop on over to youtube click that like button we hit daryl's already clicked it. he's already given you a like I've got the Jerry, I got the Afro Jerry Seinfeld thing going on right now. It's a bit of a nightmare. So I got that thing going on right now. That's what you can win tonight. If you're on Instagram, hop on over to YouTube and come and get some stuff. All right. So this is what you can win. What's up, Mal Mad Cloud Comics Gen X? What's up, Mutant Crew? What's up, Meta? What's up, Essex Cook? Hannah. Whoa. Hannah Cat a Cat's Meow on Instagram. Hop on over to YouTube. That's what you can win tonight. All right. So, um, folks, I'm going to sip some tea because that's how I do to start with. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's some good tea. Um, it is. I made, I made the tea good tonight, bro. Uh, we do. I will be playing some music from my old record label tonight. Yes, I do have a song queued up for you. I Daryl's a fucking hater. If it's not death metal and someone getting like mur murdered, he doesn't like it. He's you know he likes all kinds now. He's <laughs> um so I will be playing some music tonight. It's music night tonight for you guys as well. Because I love I you know what? Why don't we just go right into the music? What's up, Big Frogski? Hop on over to uh, YouTube Live. Hit the like button. Why don't we start off with a song? Because that's how much I love you. Here we go. Present. I don't know how the fuck to do this. Um, settings? No, that's not it. God, Jesus, Sebastian. Um, shared screen. Here we go. Yes, here we go. So because I love you all, let's play a song. Here we go. Um, good Lord, I have to slide my phone over every two seconds. Let's play some music, shall we? My love must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. Indeed, folks. I only have eyes for the stranger family. There it is. 
I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. I only fell What are you doing? Is he on the thing? <laughs> here comes Quincy in the background here dancing. All right, folks. Let's see. We'll have a, I can't even remember how to calm everything down right here. It's getting all emotional here. But I can't see a thing. The flamingos, folks. There they are. All right. I only have eyes for the Stranger Comics family. <laughs> Quincy just exited out real quick. Whoops. As I get all meta right there. So, folks, why don't we do this? That this is this is actually on this album i had uh done in the mvp collection those that are currently collecting my old school cds that song the flamingos i only have eyes for you is actually on this mvp vintage soul volume one album including ray charles we'll play that a little later otis redding the soul survivors the Marvelettes, Marvin Gaye, The Miracles, a whole bunch of other good stuff is on here. So, Missy's like the creepiest love song ever. That shit is beautiful. What are you talking about? Um, yes, definitely a stranger meets up in San Diego. Who's coming to San Diego Comic Con? Um, anyway, first claims, you guys can get a few of these. $20 if you want my, if you want to continue to claim the OG MVP Records, Venture Soul Albums. Uh, $20 in the claims if you want to claim some Vinci's Soul because I only have eyes for you, stranger family. Um, and I'll play, I'm going to play a little bit of Ray, I'll play some Ray Charles too from this one right here. Let's see if I can find that bad boy. You comic people, see, you thought you're coming for comics, but you're also coming for music. Let's see if I can find this one for you too. Let's see. Um, one of my, one of my favorite Ray Charles songs, um, which is not played often enough. Let's see if I can find this bad boy for you. There's going to be an ad. No ad. All right, cool. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to play this one as well. This is also from the album. Okay. Claim CD for Hot Mustard Gas. Claim CD for Allison. All right, here we go. Let's play a couple of other songs that might get you into this particular album. Thank you so much to Hot Mustard Gas and Allison. Let's play you a couple of other tracks and we're getting some comic fun. It was International um, Women's Day yesterday, so our focus is going to be celebrating women in a, in a lovely way. Let's play this song right now, if I can figure this out again, in... And uh, play another Ray Charles tune. Ray, I already said it. Ray Charles song. Slide the camera over again. Here we go. All right. Let's see if you guys know this. Now my room has got two windows, <laughs> but the sun shall never come through. Yeah, yeah. You know it's always dark and dreary since I broke. Oh, baby, with you, I live on a lonely avenue. My little girl wouldn't say I do, but I feel so sad and blue. And it's all because of you. I could cry, I could cry, I could die, I could die, I could die. Because I live on lonely avenue. Oh, yes, sir. Now you know my covers, they feel like lead, and my pillow, it feels like stone. Well, I toss and turn, so every night, I'm not used to being alone. I live on a long avenue, my little girl wouldn't say I do, but I feel so sad and blue, you know it's all because I 
That's some Ray Charles for you guys right there. Um, so if you guys again, um, yes, change is going to come by Sam Cook is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is on this CD right here. If you guys want to claim the CD, that Ray Charles song, Lonely Avenue is on this CD. So this is more of kind of like the 1950s, the 1950s kind of soul sounds before, just a bit before Sam, a bit before Al Green. Um, these were, this was the album I did, some of the 1950s, late 50s, early 60s kind of soul sounds right here. So if you guys want to claim this CD, it is $20. It is original, original MVP records right here. My first record label. Um, my first, well, I should say my first record label because I did shitloads. No, but the first company I ran, what's up, Big Sarge? So if you want to claim this CD, just twenty dollars, you can get a whole bunch of amazing, amazing stuff. Junior Walk on the store on the All Stars, James Browns, please, please, please is on here. Twenty dollars, claim the CD. I'll sign this shit for you, and that's how we start off the Stranger Comics Thursday Live. All right, okay. So um, in the chat, obviously, I'm curious to see. And remember, folks, pick your number from one to one hundred. The winner tonight is going to win. I took it out of here and now I put it down. There we go. The winner tonight is going to win a very rare comic right here. That's what you can win tonight. This beautiful homage, Gleason homage metal edition right here. That's what you can win tonight at 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. What's the name on it for the invoice sheet? Vintage Soul Volume 1. Vintage Soul Volume 1. That's what you can claim. What's up, Matt Davis? On IG, what's up, Jay Soul? Jay Soul. we're currently doing a De La Soul homage right now. Uh, Matt Davis, what's up, bro? Hop on over to the um, YouTube as well. That's where we're rocking these claims on these CDs, my original record label right here. Boom, 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 MVP Records. All right, why don't we do this as my man um, A78 hates it. I fucked this up last time. Why am I just not understand? Why am I just like having brain fog? Um, haterate, right? Am I tripping? Is that how I should pronounce this? A78. Am I just... Albert the... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. What is going on in my brain? It's mush. It's mush. It's Emerald City Comic Con mush. Albert the Great, Matt Davis with the badge. Thank you so much. I'll have a sip of tea. Rick Thorne, Rick on is in the back. That doesn't even make sense anymore. Quincy's still not on. I don't even understand what the fuck he's doing. Okay, here we go. So to Albert, and thank you. Matt Davis hopped on Instagram, folks, to buy me a badge. Just a beautiful thing. What's up, Jared, in the chat? Remember, folks, if we hit... If we hit 50 likes, we, every buyer tonight is going to get something extra. These are the spot color metals, and they are extremely rare. Extremely, extremely, extremely rare. The spot color metals, we sold two a few weeks ago. We had Kanan on, and one of the per people that came on still hasn't paid for anything and has not responded to any text, emails, or anything. So, I don't know how many there are of these, uh, Josh um, uh, or Quincy, but I think there might be like 10 of these. They're very, very rare. So, we are doing these extremely rare spot color metals for $200. All right. So, if anybody wants to claim this, I'll let two people claim that, and that's it. And that's probably all that'll go. Okay. So, this is it right here. This is the spot color metal. Ten, all right, Schwazine says there are 10 made. That's it. So $200 is a steal. Uh, one person got this and they paid for it. I, I believe that was Peter. Um, 
Peter got this, and then another new chap got this but didn't pay. So I let two people claim this for two hundred dollars. That is a steal. There are only ten of these periods. All right, there you go. And just to show you how pretty these are, as we before we get into celebrating International uh, Women's Day yesterday, there we go. That's that's the that's the ticket right there. By Kane and White, that is them as younger people, younger outcasty people. Only ten made of these spot colors. Two hundred dollars. Two people can claim that, and that will be it. Two people can claim this, and that will be it. What's up, Alyssa? What's up, everybody? Coming over to YouTube. Come on over. Hit the like button. Come and have a giggle. Come and have some fun. Music to share. All sorts of fun stuff. Did I get one of yours? Um, I don't know if you got one of these, Matt Davis. That might have come through in with the um, the kick, but I'm not sure because this was the ghost metal, so I'm not sure. Uh, but these ghost metals, uh, that would be a Josh question, a Josh question, but I don't think so. So I'm just pop that down in there, and um, I can let you know. I can find out, but I don't think so. The spot color, the spot color metal. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That would be a Josh question, um, Matt. Um, okay, so this was only guaranteed to the thousand dollar backer. Um, so no one else has got this unless they were lucky with the randos. So no one else has this apart from the $1,000 backer. Um, so if you want to get this, guys, big discount tonight, $200. So if you want to get this, $200. This is only the only guarantee on this spot color metal was the $1,000 backer, Matt Davis. But um, we should be hooking you. We should be hooking you up even more, though, bro, because you spend so much money, and um, and we love you. Matt Davis bought me a lovely, lovely original Niobe um, in Emerald City Comic Con. So it's some we got to hook. You know that's why I gave you some goodies too. But we got to hook you up. Um, so okay, the only um, so no, only there's only uh, one person has this. Uh, you can claim these for two hundred dollars, folks. Let me know, everybody on Instagram. We're also over on YouTube. Go to YouTube Live, punch in the um, the, um, the YouTube Live of Stranger Comics, and uh, come and get your Outcast Spot Color Metal. All right, what's up, Princess of Comic Games? What's up, darling? We're all, we're on YouTube Live right now as well, so I'm kind of steering everyone over to YouTube Live. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Like. Come on over, click like on the chat, all that good stuff. All right, so let us know, folks. Two people can claim this one right here. Hey, Q, if you can, bro, um, can you bring me some of the uh, the younger editions of these as well, just in paper edition? <laughs> so Quincy's going to go and get the younger edition of these. And Rick is backstage. Quincy's backstage. So um, Quincy's gonna, we're gonna bring on some of the paper editions of these. So that's what you can get if you wanna roll with that. Okay, so why don't we do this, folks? Um, I'll give you a bit of an update on Emerald City Comic Con was amazing. Uh, what's up, Dan Sandy? Good to see you in Seattle. We had a lovely, lovely time and just a huge thank you to everyone that came by and gave us, um, all the love and support. It was it was inc it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. What's up, Jamal? What's up, Cassandra? Damon, we're over on YouTube Live. Hop on over to YouTube Live as well. Um, click the uh, click the like button. Come and get the stuff. Uh, Quincy's going to get some younger paper editions. But if you want to remember, folks, only two people can claim this metal. There's only ten of these period, and um, only two hundred dollars. So only two hundred dollars. That's that's what you kind of want to get. This one right here. But all right, I'm also going to show something really fun. Hot mustard gas says hi, Quincy, and thank you. 
You got a bunch of people thanking you, bro, for being you. All right. I'm, I've got something else before before we get into like some some fun chat, some fun chat stuff, and some of the some of the you know more reasonably priced things, I guess. Um, I've got Quincy says five of these, right? You said I can do. Was it? Yes. Okay. Only five of these, and I don't really know if I don't even know who's got this. Thank you, bro. Here you go, folks. This is one that we, I believe, sold out of the paper edition of this metal edition comic. So this is this is totally unrelated. And then we'll dig into Women's Day and more music and stuff. Just to show it to you, five of these I'm gonna do. I'll do for 250. There you go. There are only five of these I can do. The Metal Edition Vastar right there. The Hellraiser Homage Javen Jordan joints. There's only five of these. That is it that I can sell. Um, there you go. No, you know, we'll do these for 200. We'll do this for 200. 200 dollars. Five copies of this. Two hundred dollars. There are only five of these. Allison's claiming. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Only five of these. Jump on these bad boys right now. Only five of these. What's up, Daryl Counts on IG? We're also on YouTube, but if you want to stay on IG, that's fine. Bro, we are literally doing only five of these claims, Daryl. Five of these claims. One has gone down. Only five metal Vastar joints. The Javen Jordan pinhead edition of the metals. Only five of these, and I'm doing these for $200. Claim clean to Matt Davis. Thank you, Matt Davis. Thank you so much, bro. That's beautiful. Thank you very much indeed. There are only three left now. Three left of these. I'm going to sell three left of these bad boys right here. While I sip some more tea. But um, yeah, Seattle is wild, folks. It was um, a lot of hectic, a lot of hectic times getting there. And uh, yeah, folks, invite share share the links i didn't do a lot of invites tonight there's a lot of catching up from work flying in after seattle and and before that I was in oregon so i've been gone for a couple of weeks uh but yeah need more folks over onto this youtube channel let's pump up the youtube channel especially with stranger con dropping kickstarter dropping let's get a lot more peeps uh knowing about this channel huge thank you to matt davis and allison any other claimers, let us know. Only three more left of these bad boys. That's it. Three more left of the Javen Jordan Metal Editions, which is uh, on a Niobe Endura issue one. A Niobe Endura issue one. Blip. All right. So let's pop that down in right there. Um, and I believe Albert was asking earlier. Let's do the paper kit editions of the outcasts. So, Albert, if you're still in, I'm going to do these paper edition. Um, these are our these are our Patreon editions. I'm going to do a discount right now on these Thursdays, on these Thursdays, and then we'll bring on our some of our uh, bring on Quincy to start with, and we'll start having chats. So, I will do the trade and virgin set of the kids tonight. I will do them for. Um, let's see. I will do these for thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars for the set. Twenty-five for the trade dress. Pump up to thirty-five, and you get the Virgin and trade dress. My Patreons, a lot of you guys have this, but some of you guys don't have the Virgin edition. That is the Patreon exclusive versions. I'm just doing a direct, quick claim flash sale. If you want the outcast edition, 25 for the trade dress, 
35 for the set. Let us know in the chat if you want these outcast joints. Let me know. Well, you guys have these, so no, 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 no hard sell on this one. And then uh, we'll bring Quincy on and we'll, we'll share some fun times. So Albert, let us know if you want these paper editions right there. You want the version editions. Anyone else want to claim these? Let us know. Whoop. The Outcast joints. You must be a Patreon member to get Patreon member to get these on the Patreon store. If you're a Patreon, you get these in the Patreon store on a much bigger discount. If you want to claim these off me directly tonight, sometimes I do direct claims. You can claim these this off me right now without being a Patreon member. If you're a Patreon member, I would appreciate it and recommend it because you will get a big discount on it as well. So you just let me know if you want to just claim it direct or be a Patreon. Go into Patreon store and get this stuff on discount. All right. So the odd, the odd Patreon thing, I will do a live and direct, but my Patreon members get this stuff on discount in the Patreon only store. But if you want to claim this directly from me right now, you can. Um, but I do recommend being a patron, especially as we're going to be doing podcast stuff new podcast stuff, all that kind of fun, um, Patreon exclusive stuff, the documentary we were filming, we were filming our, starting to film our documentary in Seattle, which was super, super dope. So let us know. Um, okay, you want to claim these? Albert for 35. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Absolutely. That's my quick flash, little flash sale right there on something fun and fruity and, um, Let's put that down and um, let's talk about um, International Women's Day. Let's let's bring on let's bring on uh, Quincy into the chat and uh, who is also recovering from um, Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, bro? Hey guys. Wait, you're eating on the live? What are you eating? <laughs> What's up, Ryan? What's up, everybody? Mm. What's up, guys? Hello. Hello. You. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What, treat, what treats are you eating? Organic what? I can't even read that. Raw walnuts. There's a uh, there's definitely a story in there. I love that. Mm. I love how I love how I'm like sandwiched between Kobe and the Joker with the HBO announcement right there. That's pretty. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> how did you enjoy um how did you enjoy Emerald City, bro? Uh loathed it what no no it was great man um the biggest thing bro uh i think it's i mean i think it's getting a lot easier actually um what were the highs and lows tell folks in the chat the highs and lows of emerald city comic con um i mean well i would say i would say i mean the, the lows is like making a palace and all the grunt warehouse work right explain like, explain what you went through yeah man so um you go from the warehouse here in la building the the pallets and that could be that's backbreaking work you know what i'm saying because we ship a lot of freight right right um but once we finish that um it wouldn't be a con if everything wouldn't be smooth, you know, it wouldn't be a comment if everything ran smooth, you know? Um, so our flight got delayed, I think like twice. So we ended up um, stuck in San Francisco for about 10 hours, right? And uh, yeah, we we're just chilling. I felt like Tom Hanks uh, from Terminal, the movie Terminal, right? I felt like I was like spinning a nightmare. I just should have took a shower, brushed my teeth, you know? 
got acquainted with all my neighbors. I was walking around and stuff like that. Um, but now after that, yeah, we didn't get into like 12 midnight. And mm-hmm. <laughs> we got into the hotel like around like uh, like 1, like 1.30, something like that. And we had to set our alarm for 6.30. And I swear to you, as soon as I laid my delicate head on that soft pillow, <laughs> My my, it felt like my alarm went right off, <laughs> and we and we were back to it. Had to go get U-Hauls, and then we had to drive to the warehouse in Seattle, and we had to, you know, um, we took everything off the pallets. Had to load both U-Hauls, brought it to the con, um, and then we had to set up that same day because because our flights were delayed. Um, it took a day away from us. So we had to do everything in one day as opposed to dropping the stuff off at the con and then preparing and doing setup the next day. But we had to do that all in one day. So um, didn't get much sleep, you know what I'm saying, before the con. But um, but besides that, the con itself, it's it's it was amazing, man. It was uh it was it was really good. I mean, like I said earlier, this stuff is it's getting kind of easier. Um, and I and I what I mean is um, we're growing, people are growing in popularity. We're growing, people are starting to become more aware of it. So the pitch, you know, you don't feel like you're really selling like that anymore mm-hmm. because people are coming up um, that already know us or that have bought previous books and need, you know, ones that they didn't get uh, before. Um, and then there's always this thing where nobody works like us when we're at these cons. <laughs> nobody works as hard as we do at these cons, right? And because of that, our booth always feels like an event because it's filled with so many people, whether it be inside the booth or around the booth. So then you have your normal passer buyer who looks at our booth and sees all these people and it looks like an event. And it just, it just, you know, it kind of like piques your curiosity. And then that brings people over and, and, and just more and more and more. So yeah, it just, it just, it's starting to become a lot less harder, you know, um, uh, than it in, in normally is at times. So, uh, yeah, it just, it can only go up from here, right? Mm-hmm. I think uh, so, yeah. And, it, and it's, and what people don't, you know, and um, one of the highlights, of course, is seeing the Cornishes. Yes, the Cornishes. Okay. And Brian, so let's just say Brian has delayed at LAX and hey, Sabira and Jocelyn says she can't stay, popped on the like. So shout out to Brian who's delayed at LAX. That sounds brutal. And Hey, everybody, that's on Instagram. We're also on uh, YouTube. If you hop on over there, you claim anything. Every um, every person that buys something tonight, if we hit 50 likes, everyone's going to get something else. We've got some fun other things that's going on. Um, but, yeah, people people don't kind of realize is at the end of the conventions, too, the, the amount of effort it is to tear down, break down, go and get trucks, truck this stuff back to the docks and then bring, you know, then, you know, then race to the airport. It's a, it's a lot of logistics mm-hmm. and you're running on fumes. Um, you know, a lot of moving parts, a lot of folks, you know, up to adventures in the evenings as well, you know. Absolutely, man. Um, a lot of adventures in the evenings. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was I was uh I was super tired on Saturday. Was that Saturday? Saturday, yeah. It was yeah. Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was extremely tired on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I didn't I didn't get a lot of sleep. But I pulled through, right? I uh, pulled through. Quincy pulled through. And then of course, seeing Matt Davis turning up in a mask, I didn't even fucking realize it was Matt Davis and a lot of some of the yes, um, my man Chris, um, who's on the chat as well, uh, CD Gessner. Like, there's a lot of lovely people in Seattle. Chris, Matt, Celeste, the Cornishes. I mean, there's a Dan. A lot of you guys were um, were just. It's just so good to see everybody. I'm gonna pop this down again. Um, so, folks, if you're on I, IG, pop on over to YouTube Live, uh, Tracy and everybody. Yeah, it is Chris. Chris Gessner. Yeah. Um, yes. I do want to say before we kind of let you know uh, get run away from the theme of International um, Women's Day. This was Quincy's suggestion, folks. Quincy bought this one particular um, 
comic out and um we are uh, can do 10 of these so this was a free comic book day variant that we did a few of and we can only do 10 of these so this is with a trade dress of Erethun. so i'm going to do this for a nice price if you guys haven't got the trade dress edition of the Hyung Tech Nam, the Last of Us artist on Erethun. I'm going to do a really nice price on this. Let's just go for $25. So that only 10 people can claim this trade dress edition of this. What's up, Pamela? What's up? What's up? What's up? Good to see you, darling. Um, so if you guys are on IG, hop on over to YouTube Live, click the like button, click the subscribe button and come and claim this this was uh, only available at comic shops there you go josh says at uh, la free comic book day 2016 um so josh daryl counts is claiming one on ig we have nine left christopher gessner on youtube we have eight left my boy so one, one for daryl one for chris eight left of this very rare comic there you go allison claims sign on the inside we have seven left Thank you, Daryl, on IG. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Alice, and thank you, Chris. Seven left. This is the, of course, there you go. Um, $25, Josh. $25. There you go, folks, if you can see. I don't know if I can do, make myself big and shrink. There we go. There you go, so you can see it. Look, there it is. Get this bad boy. Only 10 these have now become extremely, extremely tough to get hold of. There you go. Get the Warrior Queen. People say it looks like Beyonce. And I was like, a little to the left, B. And she's like, for you, Seb? Okay. Dude, I was trying to think of something else to say. I couldn't yeah, fucking... I was like... 20, $25. That's it, uh, Suspresso. 25 i'll do this what is up um valerie what's up tunes tune track tunes track boom there you go i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna pop that there there we go 25 dollars claim sign on the inside get on these bad boys get on these bad boys pamela signed on the inside five left clean um albert all i need from you is to send me a message stranger at strangercomics.com your email address so i can invoice you um so albert dm me on ig or email me at stranger at strangercomics.com let's see if i can um do that the banner here is email me at stranger at strangercomics.com so only five left of these can be claimed. That's it. Let's go. Let's claim claim for Pisa Kin. Josh on Instagram. Four left. Four left. All right. Four left. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to go into the banner section and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to go um, to claim email stranger i should have had this prep sorry guys uh stranger or, or dm me your email on ig um save and ticker across there we go look at that whoop so 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 high tech all right i think i said there's only five left guys right let's say five or four left $25 for this comic is a steal. Jump on this bad boy before we are done, done, done with this comic. That will be it. Look at that. If you're a fan of The Last of Us, this is the one you want to get. Four left. Sabira got hers. Four left. Pizakin and uh, Daryl on IG got theirs. Four left of this one right there. That's it. It's uh, a very rare, beautiful comic to get your hands on. And if you've already got the, the Virgin edition, then you can get this one to go with it. So jump on this bad boy. 
Only four left. What's up, BGC? Peter M. Peter M coming through. There we go. Thank you so very much. Yeah, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. I'm not too spiffy on the tech skills. Peter M uh, getting one clean as well. Three left, folks. Three left. Three left. If you're a fan of The Last of Us, you're a fan of Hyung, jump on that. There is only three left of this comic book. I'm going to sip my tea, and I expect by the time I'm done gulping, they're all gone. And if you have not um, clicked the like button, where are we at with this bad boy here? We're 30 likes. 30 likes. Hit the like button. I'm going to buy something from the website. You can ship it together. Absolutely, Albert. Absolutely. We can ship it together. No problem at all. Um, click the like button if you haven't. You hit 50 likes. We hit 50 likes tonight. Everyone that buys something is going to get something extra for free. That's how crazy this shit is. All right. Three left of these bad boys. Okay. I'm going to pop that down. Three left of them. Um, get on this bad boy right there. Um so I will continue to say, let's talk a little bit about International um, Women's Day. Uh, so basically, I'll bring I'll bring Quincy back on. Um, so it's not so odd. There we go. And then we'll, look at that. Oh, we're even bigger. Look at that. Oh wow. Look at that. We I've got really high tech right there. Now we're even bigger, bro. That's amazing. My look at my hair. I look like I'm. Part of like a 1980s music video or some shit. 1980s music. De oh. Quincy's very big in the 80s music, just a heads up. Yeah. Oh, look at you. See, look at. Can you see next to Kobe? Kobe's expression is is in awe and in splendor at Quincy's addition to his comic collection. Right. God. <laughs> Do you see this right we, here? We can do a COA, Albert. We can do it for you if you want. We generally don't because you trust us. But if you need one, we can do it for you. It's fine. Do you do you see this right here? Do you see that? No, it is not a medal. Okay. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a regular waterfall comic book. The only people that have these, or that have mostly all of them, is the Cornishes. And you know what they did? They blessed your boy with one of them. Okay? <laughs> Shout out to the Cornishes because you can't find this anywhere. You can't find this cover anywhere. And I'm not talking about metal. We're talking about the regular cover. You can't find it anywhere. You know why? Because they bought all of them. Right? <laughs> They know I wanted one so bad because I have to have one of everything. And they bless your boy with one right here. So shout out to the Cornishes. I wanted to hang it up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just thank them. I was just like panicking that I wasn't going to fall down. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it perfectly, you know, stuck up there. And then also, also. Because we're going to be getting off into, uh, watch my straw head messed up. We're going to be getting off into D and D and stuff like that. Uh, boss, I bought my first, I bought my first dice, guys. Bought my first dice from a group called they're called the Elven, they're called Elven Tree Game. They were on IG earlier when we stopped off when we started the IG. They just they just jumped on. And know. so and so I bought it and I got the uh, the gold vein. Uh, set and look at this bad boy. You see that? Look at those gem dice, dude. All very well freaking upgraded and shit. Look at oh you. yeah, oh yeah. If I'm gonna do anything, you know, I gotta do it. I gotta get the best. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. So hopefully, when I use these bad boys, I can roll higher than was ten because I usually roll. Lower you usually roll like a four, bro. It's kind of yeah, your four. So yeah. this bad boy right here, I'm about to be rolling d twenties. Every roll, let's go. <laughs> not about, not about. <laughs> um, well, the other thing that we um wanted to share with you this is a, an idea that uh Quincy had too, guys. Is so we have um celebrating um 
International Women's Day, there's a couple of things that we brought out to share with you guys, yes. which I think is kind of a good celebration. One of which is I bought another one of these. So if anybody wants to get the big poster board tonight of Naomi Shia's death, the giant poster board of Naomi Shia's death clean, we will do this for 150. 150 if you want a giant the giant poster board of Niobe Shears death right there. So anybody want to claim this beautiful beautiful poster board of your girl? There she is. We printed up a couple more of these bad boys in case anybody wants to claim a full on giant poster board of Niobe Shears death clean right here. Any takers on the giant poster board? 150. 150 for the giant poster board. Everyone on IG, happy Thursday. We are over on YouTube Live as well, hanging out. So if you want, next time I'll prop the phone. I was meant to prop the phone, get something to prop it to face the YouTube at the same time as well. So um, I'm trying to show you by the same time. Anyone want to claim this? We'll sign these for you. Let us know in the chat. Claim for Allison. Yay. Thank you, Allison. Allison is claiming the giant poster board of Naomi Shears' death. Look at the size. I was going to say look at the size, but the size doesn't matter. It's um, where you hang it up. There you go. There you go. It's where you place it. There we go. Thank you very much to Allison. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blip, pop that down. Blip. Now, what we do have is I'm going to um, share with you another kind of a fun biggie that we have. Um, we have this foil edition CGC signed by Hyung. You, CGC signed by Hyung right there. Yeah. And there's super, super rare. There's only five of these bad boys. This is three of five. So what I can do, this is about as low as I can go right now tonight. How but, low? Can you go? Oh, it's, it's two of five. It's number two of five. Two of five, if anybody wants to get this, I will do big discount for $400. It is the um, my sign by Hyung, two of five, sign by Hyung. There's only five of these bad boys right here. There you go. Sign by Hyung, signature edition. Blip. So first claim gets this. What's up, White Pages? Hello, everyone on IG. Hop on over to YouTube Live. Um, I am sharing some fun stuff. All right. Let us know in the chat. Any point in the evening, someone wants to claim this. This is a steal. There's only five of these, okay? Five of these. $400. I'm taking $100 off easily what this should be as is signed by Hyung. And he's obviously a big name right now because of the show the last of us this is this cover right here signed by him that is graded 9 8 and it is the foil virgin edition yes sir all right what i'm gonna do is all right something kind of fun as well this is also recommended by you know let's do this one let's do this one something a little bit more affordable here we go. All right. This is signed by Kanan White. Sign. How much espresso? $400. My boy, Kanan $400. For a hundo. This is, I'm taking $100 off of this. This is $400 if you want this bad boy here. First claim of this is only five of these. And it's signed by Hyung. All right. I'm going to pop that down. 
that's 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 the steal that is the steal of the evening all right one claimer on this it's a nine four it's a nine four but it's a yellow label and i have a fucking clue why they gave this a nine four because these are pressed and it's absolutely beautiful and it's signed by kane and white on the jay lee cover i'm gonna do this as a steal let's do this for ninety dollars claim first, first claim ninety dollars gets this signed by canaan cgc ninety dollars gets this first claim jaylee edition i'm doing this for ninety dollars folks Aim for hot mustard gas. There it is. Hot mustard gas. Hot Get mustard. this bad boy right here. Thank you so much to hot mustard. Congratulations. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Who claimed it? Hot mustard. Gas. Hot mustard gas. That doesn't smell pleasant. All right. Flip. That goes to hot mustard gas. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. I will do the next one and hot mustard gas. If you want to upgrade, you have that chance. What's up, Pam on IG as well. What's up? What's up? What's up? This is an slight upgrade. Same thing, but this is a trade dress, but this is a nine six. I'm going to do for one twenty five. One twenty five. This is the the. The mega, yeah, I don't know why that was a 9.4. It's a great condition. 125 on the 9.6, keeping these steals coming. 125, Quinty Average. What are you doing? Claim, damn it. <laughs> 125 right here on this 9.6 signed by Kanan. It's real pretty. Nine six one twenty five. Oh, um, Albert, if you're looking for the NWA homage, it is on the um, Sabira is claiming this for one twenty five. Congratulations to Sabira, she got it, she got it. Thank you so much, Sabira. Um, Josh, can you send Albert the link to ruining Christmas? Thank you very much. All right, that goes. So, Hot Mustard Gas and Sabira gets those um, those CGCs. Congratulations to you. I might be able to find it real quick for you. Um, here we go. So, you want to go to the Ruining Christmas section, and I'm going to put this down for you, Albert, in the chat. All right, Albert, if you look at that, that, that thing I just put down, mm -hmm. the that link right there, you will find the EWA and the MF Doom homage in that link right there. That's the Ruining Christmas link. That's where all the Ruining Christmas stuff is, including the NWA and the other outcast homage we actually have is in that area as well. So you'll find other super fun hip hop homages in that section as well. All right. All right. Okay, so I haven't even really got to this celebrate. Clearly, yes, clearly, clearly, we are doing. You're welcome. You're welcome. Clearly, we are doing Niobe and Dura and celebrating International Women's Day. This is what we built Stranger Comics around, right? The celebration of international women, in the sense that Niobe essentially is meant to be the descendant of. The goddess and the devil and a representation of um of of women from different backgrounds and cultures and so on being mixed but also kind of a celebration of the ceremony of black culture and um what what was really important for me in creating niobe and the ongoing journey of niobe is under is is paying essentially um, is having reverence and honoring women as they are the caretakers and in our world honoring women and black women as the caretakers of 
the world and passing down that kind of that burden of matriarchal responsibility onto the next generation who passes it down onto the next generation and so on. Um, so that was really, really important, obviously, with uh, creating Niobe and then also now with Dura, the creator of the world. And you guys are seeing, you're seeing more of the world start to expand. And in some of the new comics that we have, thank you, Stranded, on IG, as the, co as the comics start to expand, we are now going to start de delving into Niobe's mother, Nadami, as well as Dura, the creator, and and feeling that sense of, I don't know, that, that sense of, not, I would say duty, but an, in, an instinctive need to nurture, protect, and... Um, and um and help help those around her elevate and grow <clears throat> so that's such a huge part of i guess what we what we do and obviously we're a bunch of jokesters and have a lot of fun and get up to all sorts of nonsense but when we when it comes to the work that we create it's um it's really done with a lot of intention and um and, and so that's very very important for us so um what there's a couple of there's a couple of ones that we actually brought out this is quincy's idea and i think it's a really smart one to to bring out so we we now and again bring these out some of you guys have them but a lot of you guys don't have them and that is the original competition winner sets so i'm going to hold these up for you so you can see them all right and i'll make i'll make myself big again not just because i don't want to see quincy's mug but let's so here you go so here are these beautiful beautiful issue one these are some of the prettiest covers we've ever done by michael person olivia duchess these are all of course of amanda stenberg as niobe these are some of the prettiest covers we have ever done and it's the issues one two three and four sets mervyn kawanda and Joycelyn Furness, who is uh, now Ta goes by the name Tala, who also is the illustrator for Brown Sugar Fairies. So what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to do a really nice price on this um, on this stuff right here. Uh, no big movie announcements or things yet, uh, Eduardo, but just a few claims that when uh, which we'll do a recap in about half an hour or so. Um, right now, we're doing a celebration of essentially International Women's Day. So this was Quincy's idea to bring these out, which is really um, appropriate considering this was a competition we did, and they're some of the most beautiful covers we've ever done. I'm going to do a massive discount set deal of these trade dress editions for $40. I'm going to do the entire trade dress edition of these issues one, two, three, and four for $40. Um, Celeste, I will talk to Aisha about making some more Niobe dolls. That's mm -hmm. a great idea because, because um, this artist here does the... Um, Brown Sugar Fairies book, which we'll get into in a second, especially with a new Tinkerbell uh, thing and everyone freaking out about Tinkerbell. So anybody wants to get, and remember, again, Niobe Shear's life is the first in history of the black female author, artist, and hero, um, as far as that was internationally distributed. So you've got all four of these issues, one, two, three, and four, for $40. Anybody want to claim the entire beautiful run here for 40 bucks? It's a it's a great deal and steal for $40 on these trade dresses. Now, what I can do as well, I think she did one other one, Celeste, and uh claim set for Allison on the trade dress. Thank you so much to Allison. Suspresso wants to claim that set as well. Thank you so much to Suspresso. 
forty dollars on this set is is great. I mean, look at this, folks. It's absolutely spectacular. That's one of my faves. It's stunning, bro, isn't it? Look at that. $40 for the set. Claim sets for Belexar. Thank you so much to Belexar. Claim set, please save the next patron package to Canada. You got it, Vicky. You, absolutely. Yeah, it's a stunning, stunning set. What's up, Mike Tony Designs on IG? Hey, everybody on IG. We are also on um, YouTube right now. We're also on YouTube. And that's where we're we're hanging out a lot on the YouTube. Next, I'm gonna just get a one of the props that props up the phone that you can see both the YouTube from the IG section. All right, so you guys got this forty dollar set right here for Suspresso, Allison, and Belixar. Now, what I also will show with you is Hot Mustard Gas. Pizakin also wants to claim the set clean forty dollars. Thank you so much to Pizakin. Appreciate you very much. Thank you so much. Look at this set. It is absolutely beautiful. Suspresso says, Seth has a mind like a steel trap. It's more like a sieve, bro, a steel sieve. Everything's like falling through in the center. Um, I will share with you, we only printed 25 virgin editions. We only printed 25 virgin editions. That's it. Um, so what I will do for you, these are, should be 250, two, sorry, 200 for the set. If you want to upgrade, if you want to upgrade to the Virgin Edition, so folks that don't have the Virgin, I will do these for 150 and I will throw in the trade dress for free for an entire bundle set for 150 if anybody wants to get the upgraded virgin editions they are only 25 of these folks no no hard sell no pressure this is some of the prettiest comics i think that we have ever done so let us know if you want to upgrade to the 25 sets and i'll do these for 150 and i will throw in the trade dress for free so that's essentially like a $90 discount if you want to get both of these editions. Yeah, these were the first competition winners that we upgrade. Upgrade for Allison, sign on the inside. Thank you so much, Ali. Thank you so much. Where's your, where's your mug, bro? Look at this. Hold it up to the camera. Look at this. It's some Shears life and Shears death right there. Look. Whoop. Um, yeah, like, so upgrade for Belexar as well. The Virgin said, King Ryan says the Virgin said is worth it. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> Belexar wants to upgrade her claim as well. Sign on the inside. Um, thank you so much to Belexar. 100%. The version set is is worth it for sure. I appreciate that. Um, thank you very much indeed. So, yeah, if you guys, it's a great deal. Eduardo is like, where the hell are my assessor mugs? Eduardo, we might have some more, like, we have an assessor. Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's a great question. Assessor mug. An assessor mug indeed. Hmm. All right, Daryl just dropped on um, some trash. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl just dropped down, folks. So again, if you're in the chat, you're on IG, hop on over to YouTube. We're doing celebration of International Women's Day with these beautiful Niobe Virgin editions here, Virgin and Trade Dress competition winners. If you want the trade dress edition, it is 40. If you want the version and trade, it is 150. It's a steal. Get on these sets right here. And we need to get Eduardo and Assessor Mug like stat. That's what the yeah. say. they say stat. 
Um, so we need to hook up Eduardo with more assessor magic. All right. Um, so I'm in uh, parental net land as well with my son getting his car and scaring the life out of me with the driving and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, Daryl just dropped down. Then we'll get into Joyce Lynn and we'll get into Tinkerbell and all that kind of stuff in a second. Um, so, you know, Joyce Lynn, who did the um, claim trade dress, you got it. Thank you so much. Pamela is claiming the trade dress of the competition winners for 40. Thank you so much to Pamela. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. So, coming up. Oh, shit. Brian Cornish. I'm lonely at LAX. Oh, Brian. Uh, while you were here in town laying, having your layover, you should come over to the house. Yeah. You know, you're here in LA. What the fuck? Come on over. So, thank you so much to Pamela on claiming the trade dress. So, yeah, Pamela, both Pamela and um, Niobe Cornish, Celeste. You guys have the only um, dolls. So we, let's just jump into that, and then I'll jump into the parental stuff. As you guys know, there's been a whole lot of shit going on with regards to Tinkerbell and Yara Shahidi being Tinkerbell. I want to know in the chat, in the chat, I want to get into a healthy discourse debate. Yeah. Right, of what you think about Yara Shahidi being Tinkerbell. Do you feel do you feel Yara Shahidi being Tinkerbell is a good thing that we see more representation and at the end of the day she's a fairy and that's fantasy and it doesn't matter? Uh do you feel it's too pandering? Do you feel it's the race swapping? I want to hear in the chat what you feel of Yara, Yara Shahidi being Tinkerbell. Let us know in the chat. I want to I hear, hear your opinions, folks. So King Ryan says, I love it. Let's see. What else do folks, what else do folks think of Yara being Tinkerbell? Have you guys seen it, first of all? Have you, anyone, have you guys seen, seen the news? Nobody wants to offer an opinion on this. She looks adorable. I like that the Lost Boys aren't all boys. I'm here for all of it. Um, wish I had the time when energy dropped by. I need to have something since my wife's apparently spending all our money. <laughs> I'm indifferent. A fairy can be black. I know it's different, but as long as the powers are the same, we're good. Um, okay. Did, Bamela says, I didn't know. Yep, Yara, the big, why not? Says Allison. Why the hell should a little girl of color see someone looks different than on screen? For sure, says Celeste. So everyone, everyone's, everyone in the chat seems fat, is, seems pretty supportive of, of Yara being uh, Tinkerbell. And, um, you know, I think for me, I'm of the mind, I like seeing racists mad. I think that's always funny. Um, I think it, I want to see more original black characters made by black people on screen. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those things where prairies are imaginary reaching a new heart through representation is real. I think here's the thing, when you're young and you're a kid, anyone's not they're just thinking of like i can be superman i can be tinkerbell i can be whatever i want to be and i think that's really at the heart of what it is for the child and um the parent as well who wants to just celebrate their kid being whoever they want to be in the, in a very kind of in that kind of innocent to hopeful and wistful kind of way they can be wonder woman they can be this they can be that and so on um on the flip side as well what we want to do is create characters as well from whole cloth where there are celebrations as well within yeah exactly king ryan i i totally agree um i also want to celebrate rooted culture 
and have more have more original uh, characters that come that are nurtured that uh, come from the diaspora and so on. So of course, as you know, we publish. Speaking of celebration of International Women's Day, this is the Brown Sugar Fairies book. So this is created by Aisha Sinclair, a black female creator, right there. So if you guys also want to not only celebrate Tinkerbell and you want to celebrate Brown Sugar Fairies, um, which are characters obviously from whole cloth, um, this is the one you want to get. Now, if you want to celebrate this and you want to share this as a gift, a lot of you guys have this, um, which we super, super appreciate and you know her very well. If you want to get this and you want to see, you know, this representation from whole cloth, um, jump on this bad boy for $20. And I will have this signed for you by Aisha, the creator and, um, this makes a beautiful gift. So if you want to claim this for $20 and the Cornishes are actually in here, you know, I got an opinion. Yeah. I want to hear your opinion, bro. Mm -hmm. But let me know when, you know, DM. yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm of the same uh, mind as you are. I mean, it's, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, these these you have these characters who've been a certain way for, you know, what I'm saying for years. And it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, how you said, like, I want to see like, you know, original characters. I think like, you know, you have Niobe as an original character. You know, what I'm saying it's not like, oh, we were using some um, something that's already been done before, you know. And I don't know. It just it just. You know, like with Brown Sugar Fairies, it's just like, yeah, like you can create your own uh, stuff without, you know, having to change these characters that's been a certain way, you know what I'm saying, um, <clears throat> for years, right? Um, but th with that being said, my sister, she brought up a good point, too. Just like when it comes to Black original characters, stuff like that, like the market and just the uh, uh, just the awareness or popularity of it is, isn't... Um, it, it just it's just not where it needs to be. I mean, because you have movies like Black Panther, but it's like, oh, Black Panther is a, a black movie, but it's it's a Marvel movie, right? Mm -hmm. It's under the guise of Marvel, so you're gonna go see it because it's Marvel. But when it comes to just original black content that that's not backed by huge corporations or whatever, the traction it's not it's not really mainstream. It's 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 hard. It's hard to have that uh, type of res uh, representation when it's uh, just original. Um, uh, uh, original, you know, black characters, but not backed by, you know, the corporate corporation that be. So it kind of puts you in a situation where it's like, okay, you know, black Tinkerbell, black, you know, Ari Ariel and stuff like that, where you can't have like little girls see themselves um, as far as rep representation is concerned uh, with these big iconic characters, because it's like, yeah, we, we can create our own character and stuff like that, but it's just like, will it, will it, be seen, you know, as far as a big market, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, will they get the ticket stuff? Will people go out and uh, uh, fill the seats in the, in, in the theaters like that from an unknown original black character, black movie? I don't fucking think so. Sorry. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> like, 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 I, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily, necessarily think so. So as much as I want to push for, you know, original characters and things like that, as we should, it just like, it just, I don't just, I don't see the, uh, uh, the backing of you know for it if it's not a part of something that's already big you know so it's like you know i i'm i'm in between you know but then i i understand i understand both sides but then you know i understand why like okay well if it's a black thing about black ariel it's like okay well it it, it it is what it is you know what i'm saying as much as we would want original characters i see i can understand why you know what i'm saying um they're doing that at the same time you know. But it's a corporate it's a corporate protection thing, right? So you basically from the from the young, young kid's perspective who's like, I just want to be Tinkerbell, I just want to be Superman, I just want to be Wonder Woman, I just want to be this. Um, how many characters of that iconic status are black? And there aren't really any. So 
what what happens is the kid grows up saying, I can be this mythological kind of creep person. I just, you know, where I'm playing with my dolls, I'm playing with this, I just want to grow up to be that. And if a corpor if a corporation, like to your note says, with regards to Black Panther being under the Marvel or Disney umbrella, if Black Panther wasn't under a Marvel or Disney umbrella, there's not necessarily they're going to take that risk. Right. Right. So if you've got right. like, oh, okay, um, I'm going to create, I'm going to risk X amount of hundreds of millions of dollars on a new character that's from a independent comic or kids book or not, I can't take I, me with my job and my shareholders. I'm not going to risk something on an unknown IP. So right. therefore, it's a real uphill battle for um, creators to kind of, you know, to create things that aren't gate kept by people that don't want to necessarily risk hundreds of millions of dollars on on advertising and and all those types of things they all start to take risks with animation because it's cheaper and there's a different kind of market base but um but it's inching in that area it's always like baby steps like oh well you can have we'll we'll try this but, right. if, it, but if it fails it's also this too it's like this concept of well you know white people are still going to go and see it because it's disney right right the, the world the mainstream folks are still going to go and see it because it's marvel everyone's going to go and see it because it's part of this umbrella if it's then a you know let's i mean it's like when they did the miles davis documentary they created ewan mcgregor's fictional character because otherwise it would then be in quotes a black movie and that puts it in a whole nother kind of conceptual thing you know what i mean so there so there's that what makes a black film then it becomes a put in a whole different separate box and are people uh not people i think pe i think the customer base is a lot more open than a studio is willing to risk right yeah i believe it's that. just good story is good story right you know so um so you know that that's why we do what we do and why at times oh there's a sudden hype machine because of black panther and then oh well that's died down oh now there's this now that's died down so this is why we create niobe and brown sugar fairies and those types of things so there is an organic authentic voice within our within our immediate stories because i also think too when you when you do again the kid and the parent aren't thinking about it but when you do race swap certain things everyone this okay i'll tell you a, a quick story so when i was growing up and i was in the boarding house um i got into a fight with a kid and i and i started to fuck him up and then the 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 senior who's like 18 and i'm 13 puts me in a puts me in a headlock and he's about to punch me in the face and i can't do anything about it i'm a, i'm just a i'm 13 and and he said um he goes tell me a fucking reason i shouldn't punch you in the face and i we just got back from summer break and he was all rosy and i was like did you just go on holiday and he goes yeah well did you go did you go to the beach did you go sunbathing he goes well fuck yeah he goes i go well why did you sunbathe and he goes so i could get brown <laughs> and he stopped and he was like did your personality change did you are you a different person when you well you didn't get brown you got fucking pink but did you did did you but it was that and it was like this light went off light bulb went off for him to say oh fuck i'm i want to fuck you up based on your color but i here i am wanting to be you wanting to be brown 
Now, I remember telling that story to an ex of mine, and she was a, uh, her mother was a member of the Panther Party and the Nationalist Movement and all those types of things. And when I said that to her, she's like, yeah, in this kind of like, we're the same type thing. She was like, yeah, but we're not. And that's the problem. There's this concept of we all want to be the same. However, that's not truth. We want to be able to celebrate our differences. Right. And that's the beauty of the celebration of culture. The, cel the, con the concept of celebrating something that is different from you is a beautiful thing that allows us to have empathy right. and find what binds us and find our similarities and go, oh, shit, but you look, you, you, you smell different, you taste different, you eat different, you fuck different, you dance differently. And how, oh my God, that's amazing. I am, I get to have empathy and celebrate you as you do for me. I think those types of things. So I was like, oh, shit, it, it flipped everything for me. So when I think of at times, depending on it, what it is, the, the, it, it at times takes away from the extra layers of culture of what a character is because we are different inherently to be so like, Oh, let me slap this on can at times take away from rooted cultural ways people walk and dance and smell and move through life. Now, so, so to your note, Quincy, earlier, I'm of the two minds where I'm like, I love racist being mad at it. I think that shit's funny. I love a kid feeling they can be anything they want to be. Mm. I'm a, I celebrate that and I honor that. But I'm also of a mind that I want to see authentic representation because I don't want the buck to stop there and go like, well, you had your fucking fairy. Right. And it's come and and it acts and looks and dances and everything the same. Well, I I, I want to see, I, I want to celebrate the ceremony of the different cultures. And I think that to me is why we do what we do. I guess. Yeah, yeah, man. That's why. That's why I like you know Nalbi. I mean, just think about it. It's like, you know, uh, 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 in a worldview, you know, what I'm saying not a lot of people know about us, you know. But when the, when this thing hits TV, it's gonna be just like, oh, what is this new, fresh thing that I don't know about? You know, what I'm saying like, like, oh, like all these, uh, all these different characters. Like, you know, I, I always say, you know, obviously we're Afrocentric, but you know, we're just culturally diverse in our character span and spectrum of diversity in general. You know, what I'm saying so to, you know. To, to have something like this, you know, what I'm saying I think you know a lot of people can uh, will appreciate it, you know, and um, I don't know. I, I think I think we'll be the ones where it's like, oh, here's this little engine that could, and will, so. and will, you know, what I'm saying like and here's the crazy shit. It's like we see our characters ripped off, yeah. right? We see our characters on posters. We see our characters, our naive characters, ripped off or inspired other people to then go on and go, oh, we could do it like this. Here's the thing. And, you know, so sometimes it's like, oh, rising tide raises all ships and we just, mm. we are the little engine that could, but we're for also kind of the folks that do help, you know, push, push things forward as well. Then that's, then that's, um, you know, you kind of have to kind of, um, you know, understand all that, you know? Um, so, I don't know, man. Suddenly got all deep and heavy, but you know, I think it's just important. You know, I think I, sh I think that stuff is important. So, with that said, folks, if you want to get your brown sugar fairies told by an original black creator with the intention of celebrate of a story for everyone, this story is for everyone, but has organic roots jump on this right here and get this for twenty dollars and give this as a gift give this as a gift if you already got it jump on this claim this and these make beautiful gifts celebrate brown sugar fairies as well twenty dollars in the chat claim this bad boy all right
a lot of you guys have this but that's celebrate that bad boy right there all right now we'll move on a little bit what i have here is and i should have brought this out earlier before it got all fucking heavy and oh and we should announce the winner soon too so we talked a little bit about um you know celebrating international women's day we have the beautiful foil edition of our wonderful creator of asunder dura with young niobe and what i'm going to do for you guys celeste is like our dog's name is naomi not naomi see i love celeste celeste is dope as shit um so here we go folks let me do this so i can make it big there you go so if you guys don't have this there are only 100 copies of the foil edition of the naibin dura what we talked about this is our international women's day kind of like let's just go crazy virgin and trade virgin and trade if you want the trade dress it's 20. If you want the virgin and trade dress, it is $40. Trade dress 20, virgin and trade dress $40. If you're on IG, we're also on um, YouTube. That's our YouTube as well. YouTube. Trade dress 20, virgin and trade dress 40. If you want the foil, I will do the foil for 60 and I'll throw these three in. The, to make it a set for 60 for the mega sweet deal. The mega sweet deal. So anybody want to get the trade dress edition of Niobe Andura, Wrath of the Ancient by me and Prentice, Penny, the showrunner of Insecure for 20. Do you want the foil, the, sorry, do you want the virgin and trade for 40 or do you want the foil for 60 and I'll throw the other two in for free. If you just want the foil, I'll do this for $40. If you just want the foil, I'll do this for 40. If you want the set, it is 60. Let us know if you want to do any of these right here, right here. This People are like going, I don't want to get anything anymore. That was a fucking heavy conversation. <laughs> it's a needed conversation, though. All right? What's what's up, uh, Brian? What's up, probably Priscilla on IG? Hello, darling. This is the one you want to get. Look at that. Look at that magic right there. $40, only 100 copies of these beautiful things right there. Claim full set for Bellexar. Thank you so much to Bellexar. Coming in, uh, all gonna go all the way to Canada. The full set for 60. Thank you so much. Brian says foil and two sets, foil and set two. So, two foil sets for 60. Thank you, uh, thank you so much to Brian. Appreciate that very, very much. Happy Thursday. The Cornishes are legends, they're back. Absolutely love you guys. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful set. If you don't have this. 40 if you just want the foil, 60 if you want the mega sets right here. See the Cornishes. Come through, Cornishes. Come through. <laughs> she said, no, nah, who's spending? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Any other claimers right here on the foil and uh, trade and virgin? Blip, blip, blip. This lovely set here. You know, I noticed like some of our some of our um, ideas um, aren't, aren't making it over to YouTube as much. What I noticed. Any other claimers right here? I'll pop that down. If not, all right. We have one. Surprise! We no more. Look at that, folks. You don't want to get that. Look at that. Ah, it's just absolutely magical. Stunning and metal. Um, all right, so yeah. Carol May 
And then we'll announce the winner. Daryl May has done. We talked about um, the the concept of being a parent and passing on the burden of responsibility. Um, hey, SK SK Bernard. Hello, darling. Um, we talked about the um, responsibility of passing down these 64 for Daryl counts. Daryl's like coming through. We'd announce the winner in two secs, Daryl. Shani, what's up, Shani? Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Um, we'd announce the winner in two seconds. Daryl May has done the very first ever original of Nadami of Nadami Niobe's mother. I've asked for like five originals from Daryl tonight, but he's done one. <laughs> it sounds so, like Daryl. Here we go. The first ever original of Niobe's mother. This is this is it. First ever original of Niobe's mother. And it is lovely. So I'm going to do this for 125, the first ever Nadami before it comes out on Mother's Hands. Here we go. There you go, folks. First claim I see for Nadami, claim for Celeste. Brian and Celeste claimed it at the same time. <laughs> wow. Jeez. So Brian wants one, and that means Celeste wants one. That means we need two to be made. <laughs> so congratulations to the Cornishes. There we go. First ever Nadami, Niobe's mom, goes to the Cornishes for 125. Huge thank you to the Cornishes. That goes to you guys. Very much appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I really appreciate that big time. Um, I do have I do have something really really fun tonight to share with you guys. Some somebody guys have some of these. Um, I will do a very nice price of Dura by Rick. <laughs> let's 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 do this, folks. Let's bring on Rick. Let's bring Rick on again. Not Rick on Stark. <laughs> so so stupid. Um, let's bring Rick on into the stream. There's Rick. What's up, Rick? What's up, Stranger Family? Good to see you. What you working on, bro? Show everybody what you're working on. Uh, I was just working on just the the next painting. I'm gonna do. I don't know if everyone's familiar with that character, but oh. it will be soon enough. Uh, I'm gonna hold this up for Daryl Counts. So I'm gonna hold my phone up. That's uh, that's 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 Wasso's dad, guys. <laughs> Wasso's dad. This way. There dad. we go. Wasso's dad, who is also in love. And yeah, we'll do Denton Dings in a bit, Suspresso, after we announce the winner. Wasso's dad, who is in love with Nadami, who appears in Mother's Hands, which is really dope, right? So Rick did this amazing piece right here of Dura. Let's see if I can hold it up nice and big. Here we go. Dura right here. Love that piece. I'd love doing that one. That's fun. Absolutely beautiful piece. Dura, the creator of the World of Asunder. Josh says, Rick, interiors for real. We need to get your own interiors, bro. Ooh. <laughs> That'd be cool. So if anybody wants to get Rick's painting of Dura, we will do this for... $15 on a steal of the night, $15. If you want to get Rick's Dura, $15 right here. Oh, this cool. is a claim of Rick's right here. And obviously Rick will sign it. Yes, of course. $15 on the sneaky claim right here. And then we should announce the winner. So, so yeah, Rick is currently um, working on doing... Um, did you want to Omdar. Omdar Shem, Paolo, Wasso's dad. Wasso's dad. Any, did you want any to claim give it? him a sneak of our assassin? Yeah, we should do too. Uh, yeah, let's do that too. Let's do that. Uh, as well. 
the bastard. <laughs> claim claim for uh, Belixar wants signed signed as well. Belixar wants signed. Belixar, do you want this sign on the inside or just signed? And folks, if you're on the, if you guys are leaving, we're about to announce the winner right after. We have 41 likes here. We didn't hit 50. Okay, Suspresso wants one as well. His quick gimme, he wants he wants one for 15. What's up, Ellen? Everybody on IG. Go on over to YouTube. Make sure you hit the like button. If we hit 50 likes, hit 50 likes. We Everyone that buys something tonight gets something for free as well. All right. So claim for Suspresso, claim for Bell XR, sign on the inside. You got it. It is a lovely, lovely, lovely comic. Thank you so much to Belixar for that. Paolor, Wasso's dad. Paolor is Wasso's dad. Wasso, the uh, half brother to Niobe. Oh my God, I'm just holding the phone. I'm just not even holding it properly. Sorry, sorry, Daryl. I need to get a prop um, to prop the phone up for the IGs so they can see the interviews and things. Okay, Rick, have you got that, bro? Do you want to? Do you want to yeah, show you, and, then, and then we'll announce the winner? Yeah, do you see that right there? Uh, I shared screen. Oh, what the what? I, I was like, let me see. Blip. What? Lani. There you go, folks. That is Lani. Um, the what? for the comic that I'm writing with T. Franklin. What do you say, Rick? In, in, in the chat, guys, who is Lani the daughter of? Oh yeah, good good question. Who is Lonnie, the daughter of? There is it's, there is a hint in there. It is crazy. He he does an amazing job. Whoever whoever gets this answer, you get a free auto and a free uh variant. Who oh is, shit! Okay. Who is Lonnie, Lonnie the daughter of? In the chat, Quincy's throwing the free variant in. Who is Lonnie the daughter of? Yeah. To see if y'all be really reading these books. <laughs> really and if, books. if you're a, a real fan, you should be able to figure out who she's the daughter of. Who is Lonnie's daddy? Jesus, this would this would be tragic oh. if no one knows this. It would be hard yep. for anything. Yep. Madison! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, okay, okay. So let's let's, let's go like a, a, a step further. Who is uh who is uh Lonnie's mother ah oh, dude that's hard who's yeah, Lonnie's mother readers, if you're readers, readers yeah you gotta get the book out and quickly remember see what remember her name <laughs> bro i know the name you know the name i'm just saying for other folks you know all right well, so so you and if whoever finds out let us know in the chat all right allison still gets the reward though oh yeah for sure yeah so What's while we can continue on, where we can uh, guess Lonnie's mom name, who is Lonnie's mom? We'll get the other variant. <laughs> so Brown said more It's crazy. What's up, Chrissy? Good to see you again. Hey guys, we're over on I on YouTube. Pop on over. We're gonna ask the winner in two secs of the uh the competition it's a it's a good competition i'm glad people people are stuck around glad people are stuck around yeah everyone needs to read read the books yeah come on yeah gee yeah. guys gotta, gotta crack well, that's, she while, is right? a kai for sure she is a more kai she is a more kai so, so the more so the more money is half she full? Mokai, half human. I just realized with Espresso putting Morka for Morka Moa and Celeste saying Morkai, that's <laughs> really close. Celeste, Celeste, hey, yes. Yeah. All right, we got to throw in something extra for Celeste. There you go. Hey, there it is. All right, so folks, why don't we do this? What's up, Lost Eden Comics? Let's pick our number again. I know so you guys have been hanging on for this. It's just pick your number from one to a hundred, and the winner tonight is going to get it's under buried under here is going to get um this 
comic right here, this metal edition comic right here. Dan Santi just popped on back on from YouTube onto the uh, IG. <laughs> I, my man Dan, who buys me tea. Um, all right, so if you guys don't know, I'm trying to like help, like I'm just trying to do too much, basically, is what's happening. All right, pick your number from one to 100, the winner tonight. Let's do it right now. Look at that. It's espresso, you can't read them. What the fuck? <laughs> You're just collecting them and not reading them. Why am I, I? You know what? Let's just do art books from now on. I'm not even going to write anything anymore. <laughs> you know? Says our piece is the same. I'm just not going to write shit. <laughs> no, guys, read. No one gives a. No one gives a fuck about my bad poetry. Hey, as we continue on, I'm gonna keep asking questions. As you continue on, just uh, Dan Santi just bought a badge on the Dan Santi with a T. Let's do this. I think seventy is a badge dance that he should have to do. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm holding this with my carpal tunnel hand, the phone. Okay. <laughs> um so um keep those numbers coming that's what you can win tonight no one can what we've established tonight is everyone loves tinkerbell no one likes seb's writing and um <laughs> everyone's just here for the art look at that daryl daryl's not even paying attention <laughs> he's he's probably got his earphones on and watching like Fool's gone wild or some shit. He's dreaming of peas. <laughs> peas and gravy. Peas. Yeah, yeah. We had we had lunch today and Dara was very excited about having peas. Oh, shout out to Bernard for buying all the Nalbies for his nieces. Oh, thanks, Shawnee. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, and then everybody wants just a reminder, if you want the Brown Sugar Fairies, if you haven't got it, get the Brown Sugar Fairies books. For twenty dollars, Dan Santi in the chat's like, I love pictures. <laughs> um, keep those numbers coming. Let's see. I want to know who who won. Who won? Dang man, so strange stranger looking for his wife and kids, and, and had a had another kid. You know, like what's going on? <laughs> yeah, espresso is like, we love Seb hair and those Seb eyes. See, that's what I that's all I am is just hair and eyes. <laughs> yeah, just a pretty face. Seb. Come on. That's okay, all right, fine. Fuck yeah, just a pretty face. Fine. All right, let me just throw some throw share some more pretty pictures for you to buy. <laughs> hey, so um if you want to claim that Shani, the Brown Sugar Fairies book I just put down, this is just twenty dollars. If you want to buy one, Shani. $20, $20, uh, just write claim down in the chat. And all I need from you, my love, is your um, email address. We'll send you the invoice and we'll send you this as well. All right, Suspressors likes the sugar fairy books. Everyone likes reading everything else <laughs> other than this shit that I write. <laughs> Chrissy, I don't even know what the fuck rest is, my love. I don't even know. Um, so, uh, Shani, if you want to claim the Brash Fairies book, uh, just write down claim and we will email you, um, an invoice, an invoice for the Brash Fairies book. So how to claim is on the chat down there, email stranger, stranger and get these Brown Sugar Fairies books, peeps. All right. Um, and if you don't have it already, please claim the beautiful, lovely painting, the artwork, which is far more important, the artwork, claim for Shani, thank you so much, but I need more than one. Shani, get us, let me know in the chat, however many you want. We will write down how many would you like in the chat, how many books of Brown Sugar Fairies do you want? Write it in the chat, and then let's announce the winner. So, Write down as many brown sugar fairies you guys want. These make great gifts. They're $20. Write down in the chat however many you guys want. And then also we did a beautiful painting of Aisha as Niobe by Tahani Far. You don't have to read it. <laughs> I mean, an argument can be made that pictures are the first poetry before there was written poetry. You don't have to read it. Yeah, don't. 
<laughs> if you want to get this uh, message on Facebook, I know I'll post my email. Oh, yeah, no problem, darling. Absolutely. Just pop it in the chat um, on Facebook, however many you want. Now, this these comics right here, they go towards Aisha's fight against cancer, as you guys know in the chat. Um, all proceeds of this particular comic goes towards Aisha's fight against cancer. It's Aisha as um, Niobe by Tahani Far on a Niobe Shears Life issue one comic book. If you guys want to claim this as well, guys, there it is. Um, all proceeds goes towards her. These are $25 on discount. Claim this one as many as you want. Uh, Shani, these are $25. They're very rare. Only 200 printed of these. And all proceeds goes towards her fight against cancer. $25. Shani's claiming an Aisha one as well. You got it. Thank you so much, Shani. Absolutely claiming one of these as well. You guys can claim as many as you want of these. All proceeds goes towards her. Brian Cornish is saying claim four. Thank you so much to Brian Cornish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so very much. Seth, um, you want to address that question? Uh, Brian said if we ever did a coffee table book. We are buy. doing that, yeah. So, Rick, um, Hot Mustard Gas is also claiming this as well. Josh Nunez is saying, I'm the GOAT. So all you people that are only here for the art, Josh Nunez is coming in, validating me. Thank you so much. Um, so claim Aisha as well for Hot Mustard Gas. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very, very much indeed. Um, so Brian Cornish is on the coffee table. <laughs> so we are going to be doing um, the Art of Asunder coffee table book. All right, guys. So our next Kickstarter is dropping next month with all the new comics and the hardcover editions of all the new stuff, right? Then we're doing the Tales of the Sunder hardcover and Art of the Sunder art book in the summer Kickstarter. Jason Meribar claiming the Aisha signed as well, the Dahani Far as well. Thank you so very much. So claim for hot mustard gas. I think at this point, every single person in the chat is going to claim this. I <laughs> look at this. So huge thank you as well. I appreciate that very, very much. What's up, Winnie, on IG? We're over on YouTube. We haven't even announced the winner yet because I've suddenly got very sidetracked. Claim this bad boy to Hani Far of Aisha, $25. Are you going to include any fan art? Absolutely, Chrissy. We will be doing a Nibi art competition, fan art, the whole nine. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Hot Mustard Gas, for this, uh, for claiming the Tahani Aisha right here. Thank you so very much. We really, really appreciate all the support on this comic book for her in her fight against cancer. It's a huge, huge deal. So thank you. Alison Greer is claiming another one. She got one before. Thank you so much. Unless you're just saying claiming on the art book in advance. Huge thank you. Huge, huge thank you. I, pre I appreciate that very, very much. Let's let's go with all those wonderful things. That's very, very kind. Um, as we're talking art, I'm just going to throw out there as I bought, I bought a couple of these. Oh, I don't know if Eduardo is still on here. Um, I do have a giant poster. I have one more of these if you want, Shani. If you want a giant poster, we sold one earlier. It's a different poster, but if you want, I have one more of these here. Um, see, Dan's submitting words for books. I like that. If you want, I have one more of these here. These giant Niobe posters I'm doing for uh, 150 if you want this. Oh, the Tahani is a giant poster. Yeah, the Tahani, Allison. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you want a giant poster of this, these are 150. If you want a giant Niobe poster, let me know. We sold one earlier. We have one more of these. And then let's announce the winner, and then we can get into some of the stuff that we were sharing earlier and some dent and dinged opportunities and other fun things. So I do have a giant poster of this Niobe. It's 150. 
<laughs> all right. All right. Why don't we do this? Pick your number from 1 to 100 if you haven't already. Let's announce the winner. And then I want to show you some other really, really cool things that I've got that I've held on discount. All right. So let's announce the winner, Josh. So folks can, some folks that want to stay on can go to bed. No, that doesn't make sense. So folks that want to stay on can stay on. The folks that want to go to bed can go to bed. See, I'm just fucking losing my mind. All right. So let's let's roll those numbers. Let's throw those numbers down in the chat. Um, all right. See, oh, Josh is just saying, fuck it. He's going, he's just got the number right there. So Christopher Gessner, I hope you're still on, bro, my Seattle buddy. Oh, Chris. Chris. Hey. Congratulations. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> Most reliable. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very, very much. Chris, I just saw you in Seattle, bro. You just got a very rare, beautiful metal edition. Right there, congratulations to you. That is easily a $100 valued metal comic. Congratulations to my man, Chris. You're amazing, we love you. Congrats, 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 bro. That's awesome. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Okay. So the other thing I will share with you guys is um, what we were doing earlier, we'll do a quick round robin of some of the stuff, and then I'll show some other thingies as well. I'm trying to hold this this phone. i got to put this down because my wrist is hurting. All right. Um, okay, folks. What we were sharing earlier is this is some other Daryl magical stuff that was – I'm just going to do this. Yeah, some Frank Miller. Show some Frank Miller stuff. Some Frank Miller Dura right here. I'm gonna do this one. Good night, Allison. Sleep well. Thank you so much for all the claims. Good night. Thank you, thank you, Ali. Appreciate you, darling. This is of um, oh, you know what? Let's do this for folks that let's do this first. Flip. I'm gonna do the first claim of straight inks on the Nibin Dura of Dura by Daryl. I'm going to do this on discount, end of evening claim, first claim, discount, $80 on the Mega Steel. This is straight inks, no pencil, no none of that, straight inks of Dura, $80, first claim. Frank Miller of Sin City. <laughs> claim, claim, Quincy's claim. Yes. Let's go. I got it, Daryl. I, I, I got your Frank Miller. <laughs> no, not literally, guys. Not literally Frank Miller. No. No, we're just we're saying he's basically getting all noir and shit. Yeah. Any claimers of this Niobe Endura original right here on an Ibe Endura number one? It's a yeah, great yeah. end of the evening steel deal. If nobody takes it, it goes in the Quincy box for free. <laughs> I do have a very, very dope. Um, Darrow does not do pencil. He does pencil. Oh yeah, for sure. He does pencil sometimes, and then goes straight, and then goes to inks. Yeah, the but ink this, is a surprise. Yeah, this is a uh, this is brush. I think this is um, this is a brush. Uh, um, brush paint, right there. Is that a brush pen? He's he's um he's not paying any attention whatsoever. Can somebody val? Can somebody validate? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, lowest offer I'll do on this. This is actually straight paint. This isn't actually inks, guys. This is actually straight brush work. This is straight brush work, actually. I'm not going to really lower than that. It's a steal for 80. It's a steal. There you go. All right. No oh, Congratulations to uh, to Quincy. Uh, yeah. 
from Bob from accounting. He got a. They <laughs> yeah. claimed there was a. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna um, let's show. Oh, this is a. This is one that we had another one of these. I was doing this. Thank you, Moth Lady Tattoos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're all, we're all the way. Over, a lot of us are on the YouTube live, just in case you want to switch over from IG. I'm going to do this first claim on discount for 125. Oh, yeah, of signed by Canaan to nine six CGC. That's a nice signed one. by Canaan. It is a really pretty one. Ah, my boy Canaan Black. Let's go. There you go. First claim of this, and then we'll get into some dent and dinged editions. If you guys are on IG, a lot of we're over on YouTube as well right now. Just as a heads up, a heads up for. First claim on this graded edition gets this for 125. And then we'll get into some other kind of fun, cheaper editions of some other things. Anybody want to claim this? Signed by Canaan, which took six months to get from him. So just so you know, he's not he's not great. Um, thank you, Shani. I appreciate that. At Getting stuff signed back to us. This took six months, guys. No, we love Kane. And just just might be a long busy, time. right? It might be. It, that's how busy he is. That's busy. how valuable his signature is. There you go. Busy, busy, busy chat. One twenty-five is a great steal, but okay, I want to pop that down. CGC nine six Kane and signed. All right. All right, one of the ones I was going to do just um, is a fun um, one on Mega Discount tonight. We will do the Ivan Tower editions of Naibi Endura issue one. I've sold these on the discounts before. Some of you guys are new on here on both Instagram and uh, YouTube. I'll do this for $10. Ten, ten, ten. $10. Claim this comic, Naivy and Dura, if you're fans of the show, Insecure. Prentice Penny, the showrunner, he and I wrote this one together. Get this Ivan Tower for $10. It's my sneaky end of the evening steal. And then we'll move on to some Dent and Dinged editions. Claim this for 10 bucks. Then we'll move on to Dent and Dinged editions. Dent and Discounted editions. Dent and Discounted. I like that. That's, that's good. Claim for Shani. Claim for Shani. Don't, listen, guys. Don't is that? Don't sleep. You don't, sleep. don't 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 guys. Don't, don't zin in, guys. Any any other claimers? <laughs> I'm never gonna zin. Yeah, I'm never gonna. <laughs> any other claimers for the ten dollar discount on this beautiful Nibindura issue one? It's a great deal. All oh, right. I, got it. I got it. Don't sleep on this, guys. Don't, don't sleep, sleep on this. Ivan Tao, Niobe and Dura. That's Dura the Tao with Young. Niobe, don't sleep on this. There we go. All right. Claim for Shani. Any other claimers? And then we'll move on to the Dent and Ding editions. Which All right. Will, which we will put on the website. A Dent and Discounted thing on the website. There bro. you go. All right. Um, and Shani appeared a little bit later. I'm going to show her because she might like these editions as well. Um, this is the um, – thank you. I know I appreciate that, Josh, very, very much. Um, this is the uh, 20 – this is the, the $20 version of the trade dress, $40 for the virgin edition and the trade dress, or $60 with the set, and then we'll move on to the, the Denton Discounted Editions. 60 gets you the foil and both of these editions, or 40 just gets you the foil edition. We were, Oh, shit. Oh. I saw it in the chat. Can you put down, um, Josh, birthday gift for more Kamoa for Leela Corum, Leela's dog. Put down some. I want to. I want to hook Leela up with something fun. 
Happy birthday, Leela, to Morkamoa. Happy birthday. Um, all right, I'll pop this down right there. Whoop, look at that. It's magical. All right, so let's move on. We've got some other fun things. Let's move on to some Dent and Ding editions. All right, are they the same book? Yeah, they are the same book, Shani. They are the same read. If you want to read those ones, they are the same. Um, I tell you what is kind of good is if you want to get something a little bit different, let's do the Tahani Far Waso. Waso. And you'll get this book without this, uh, the smudge. Yeah, no smudges here. Thank you, Taryn. I appreciate that very much. This is the Taryn. This is the Taryn. This is the Tahani <laughs> Far <laughs> Dusu Waso book. You want to get these bad boys right now to Hani Far. I will do this for $20. $20 to Hani Far right here if you want to get this. And this will be a matching one to the one that's dropping on Kickstarter and the WonderCon. Claim for Shani for $20. Thank you so much, Shani. I appreciate that. And guys, <laughs> thank and guys, thank that, you. Is, that is Wasso, not to be confused with Tiana Taylor, guys, okay? That is Shut the fuck up. That is, Wasso, fuck? that is a guy, okay? Not to be confused with Tiana Taylor. You are stupid. <laughs> Claim for Daryl Counts is also claiming the Tahani Far Josh, on IG. Thank you so much, Daryl Counts, on IG. The Tahani Far, this is absolutely beautiful. Claim this bad boy right here. If you don't have this... The Tahani Far Dusu edition that matches this, that's going to drop the one on Kickstarter, is crazy. Same Absolutely time. crazy. So, yeah, if you guys want to get, I'll just show it to you. If you want to get the silver and the, and the paper, I will, there's only... I believe probably 25 silvers of these. I will do the silver and the paper for a hundred. For sure, Shani. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll do the set for a hundred. I would do the gold, silver, and paper set for 400. I'm just saying. Yay. Look at that. If you guys want to get the gold, silver, and paper set, I'll do those for 400. That's my, if you just want the paper, it's 20. Silver and paper, it's 100. Gold, silver, and as, and Shani, basically these are very, very rare, that they get more and more rare. He's going to be facing off. Yeah, Josh, it's like a face off. It's, I meant to bring, show this tonight and I spaced it, but you'll be seeing it very, very soon because there's going to be a WonderCon exclusive as well as a Kickstarter exclusive. We have some amazing stuff by Tahani dropping on Kickstarter, guys. Absolutely. So um, let us know if you want, but they're going to be on a face off. It really does. It does. It's crazy. Look at that. It does, yeah. All right, folks. I'm going to now share with you the gold is fire. It's bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Um, this is a different one. I did bring on. We would let. This is a this is a a Patreon exclusive, right? Mm. Our metal right here. All right, this is on a Tales of Sunday issue zero. This is the Daryl exclusive. Very nice. This is the spot color, right? That is that is the that is the ghost. The spot this is this this is the ghost metal. That's the, that's the ghost. I would do this. There's only ten of these. I will do this for two hundred dollars. Wait, ten. What's up? Hey, let it be's an IG. What's up, darling? What is up, sweetheart? I miss you too, darling. We miss you. Well, there's there's, there's only uh four left, so there's only four left. Holy shit. Okay. So jump on this, guys. If you can some of our big big buyers and OGs are not in the chat. There's only four of these. Two hundred dollars. There's only four of these 
Yeah. $200. Look at that. If you haven't got this ghost metal, jump on this. This is on a Tales of Asunder issue zero. $200. Yep. A lot of people don't have that one. There's only 10 of them. There's only four left. The Daryl May blonde. Yeah. it's a, And the guy, yeah. this is the symbol to um, of Marga right here. The uh, Moon Dragon. Marga right here. It is gorgeous for sure, for sure. All right, I'm gonna pop this down. The this ghost edition is a steal. There's only four left. What's up, Art by Straw? What's up? What's up? Okay, so let's move on some dent and dings. Let's end the evening with some dent and dings. Here we go. All right. Dent and discounted. Dent and discounted. All right. And remember, folks, if you anyone wants to claim this this is the one that um you guys want to get hit me up privately in the chat slide into my proverbials the 9.8 artist of the last of us on discount 400 taking a hundred dollars off signed by him only five of these uh oh wait celeste oh hell one please oh shit celeste wants one of the boom yeah. Celeste wants this ghost gold right here, the ghost uh, ghost edition. Thank you, Celeste. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rare There's one. only three of these. That's a rare hey, one. That's a super rare one. Only ten of these bad boys. <laughs> you know your boy got one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Celeste. I appreciate that, darling. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, folks. Let's move on to how much of the ghost variant again. It should be 400. 200. Only $200. I'm doing this for half price, guys. These should be 400. I'm doing these for 200. Who is that character? That is Scarlock, bro. Scarlock. Scarlock, one of the first D&D characters I ever played right here. Okay. These should be 400. They're going for 200 right now. <laughs> Half price. These should be 400. They're going for 200. Like Josh Nunes says, don't sleep in. <laughs> All right. And we're only five, five likes away, folks. If we get to 50 likes, everyone that buys something is going to get something extra for free. So make sure you hit that like button. Share share the news. Come on over if you're on, you're on IG. Come on over. Hit the like button. Get something. You know, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful cover. Only ten of these bad boys, half price. Misty says she fell asleep. Oh hey. my goodness! Hey, good morning, darling. Good Welcome, welcome. All right, um, pop that down. All right, let's move on some dent and dinged editions, folks. Dent and discounted. Dent and discounted. All right, we have a bunch of these untamed hardcovers. We got about 20 of them. We will do the dent and the hardcovers. They're a little bit discounted. We're sorry, they're a little bit dinged. We will do these hardcovers for $20. $20 if you want this beautiful untamed hardcover. These are a little beaten up, but you you know what? You can still read them. You can still read if you guys read. 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 <laughs> the pictures are still pretty. The words. Shut yes. the fuck up. Oh, Christopher Claim. Hey, Christopher, right. Shawnee, Shawnee Claim, Chris Claim. These are great steel deals, guys. Claim these for 20 bucks. What does it look like inside? What does it look like inside to see the art, you fuckers? To see the art. Look at that art. <laughs> 20 bucks, um, guys. Any Kickstarter hardcovers are definitely worth it. Thank you. Yeah, we do have, I'm just saying, Shani, if you're interested, we have the special edition set to read all six of the beautiful hardcover editions. Oh, yeah, we sign everything for free, darling, for sure, for sure. Yes, sir. If you're interested and you want to get the the super special edition hardcovers, 
just so you can see the quality of the work. Yes, we sir. sold a few of these sets at Emerald City Comic Con. If you want to get all of Niobe's world, so you can see it, the quality of the art, the writings are right. The quality of the art. The writing is spectacular. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Come for the cover, stay for the pictures. All six beautiful hardcovers of the special edition hardcovers, guys. Before we drop the new hardcovers, I'm doing all six of these right now on a Thursday for two fifty. If you want to get all six, they should be four eighty. I'm doing all six for two fifty of the Kickstarter edition hardcovers. Just to let you know, it's my little sneaky thing I forgot to share earlier. Just in case you want a mega bonus discounted deal with the super rare six pack edition. All right. So there you go. If you're interested in all six hardcovers with the special editions, they're 250 instead of 480. Let me know. Okay. Thank you, Belixar. I appreciate that. All right. So we've got $20 in the dent and dings for Shani and for um, Chris, I believe. All right. We also will do. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Shani. Yeah. We, uh, we put our foot into these so you can kind of see the quality is pretty spectacular and it's everything that you have to read look at that fire yeah so if, yeah these these are beautiful coffee table edition kickstarter edition books so if you're interested let me know that's the bundle discounted mega hardcover set they're they're really really spectacular um so okay denton dinged for untamed volume two we will also do for twenty dollars these are also the denton dinged edition shoney that basically means they're a little beaten up but you can still read it you know there's a scratch here or whatever who wants to claim untamed volume two denton dinged denton for twenty dollars denton discounted <laughs> twenty dollars folks twenty dollars if you want to get untamed volume two for just twenty dollars kind of crazy it's then you can get you've got issue you got volume one and volume two as a bit of a steal right there all right and then we'll move on to some of the single issue comics all right all right, split, blip, blip. Okay, I'll pop that down. I just finally paid mine today. So excited. Hey, disaster piece. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Hot mustard gas. I appreciate that very much. Indeed. Um, I believe that's the one we need to get you the, uh, actually that particular book out. We've sent you to Shears Desk by mistake. Yes. Um, all right, boom. Okay, so I'm going to move on to some more dent and dings if you guys are ready. Here we go. First claim to get this. This is Tales of Asunder issue one. It is really dinged up here. It's a bit chewed up. I'm going to do first claim. Here we go. Or let's do the first claim of this for $6. Six dollars first claim. Let's go. Fucking Quincy. I need it. Claim for Shani. Okay. Shani's yeah. coming in. Hot. I beat I, I, I beat the I was the first one, bro. What you mean? That's crazy. Claim for Shani, you got it. Come Shani, that is yours. Boom. I may or may not shift that. Okay, J dub for life. On IG, you just got beamed by Shani a little bit on the um, on the YouTube. If I have another one, I will let you know. Okay, I'll put you down for for the second place. If you've got another one at that price, I'll let you know on Instagram. 
Okay. If you want a clean version, a non dent and ding version, I will do this for you for 15. If you want it without the, the dings, I will do this for you for 15. Okay. Let me know if you prefer the clean version. But right now, dent and dings, $6. All right. Let's get to the next one. All right. This one is. This one is a great one to get. Fuck, this is a really good one to get. Which one is it? Let me see this. This is um, the Tahani Far. Blue Feather. Blue Feather Patreon exclusive. The Blue Man. Feather, so it's even more rare. It is a fucking rocking piece of work right there. It's so pretty, bro. That's okay. like visual poetry. I mean... That is so good. It, it kind of is. Um, all right. Normally, these ones are like, this would be a, like a $40 comic. It's a little dinged. I will do this for, I'll do this for $22. $22. Oh, shit. We've got Shani and Hot Mustard Gas is already claiming. So there should, there should be more in there. There should be more in there. There are? Okay. Let me see. Okay, I can get two. Okay, so cool. One for Shani, one for Hot Mustard Gas. And if I've got another one, one for Daryl Counts. Okay, so so Daryl Counts, Hot Mustard Gas, and Shani all claim these beautiful editions for $22. That's a steal for these books. All right, they're a little dinged, but there you go. That's what you're going to get on discount that saves you quite a bit of money i want to write down your names thank you so much this pen kind of sucks thank you very much to you guys it is a beautiful oh you got the art print tower in it eccc that's awesome Nice, nice, nice. And then Daryl counts, my man Daryl. Thank you so much, Daryl. Oh, Shani, yeah, we we write everything down. Um, Josh is in the chat writing everyone's claim down. A hot mustard yeah. gas. I know you're Pizakin for sure, bro. You're a Joshua. I know your name for real. I know your name for reals. All right, next one up is let's see. This one is an extremely rare comic, guys. There's only one of these I see in this Dent and Ding box immediately. immediately. This is a CBSI rare variant. CBSI rare variant. Um, we're at 49 likes, guys, too. We hit 50. Everyone in the chat that has bought something is going to get something extra. One <laughs> like away. <laughs> Try and hit that like button. If you haven't already hit the like button, invite people over. If one person, 50 likes, gets everyone gets an extra variant for free. All right. This is never sold on the website. It's extremely rare. It is Dusu issue one. Oh, there we go. 50. All right. Every buyer tonight nice. gets something extra for free. Congrats. Congrats, congrats, guys. This is not actually this dinged up, to be honest. This is a uh, $100 comic. What? Yeah, this is not that badly. This you know, it's Quincy really... trying to slip it in there so he can get it. All right. I'm going to do this on Which one is that? discount. I'm going to do this on discount for you guys. This is a $100 comic. First I mean... claim, I will do this for $55. 55 this is the CBSI. Um, this is the CBSI variant. It is never sold on the website. It is Dusu issue one with Wasso leaping into the air by James Corey Webster. You can see it's actually in pretty good shape. So anybody see that? It's in really good shape. It is a great cover. All right. Yeah. The, the scenes right after that cover was a slaughter. 
please pretty slaughtery only one of this in the denton dings section all right i know it's quite a lot for denton ding night but that's 55 for sure this is a hundred dollar comic i'll pop that down if no one's going to claim that let um okay let's move on to something else oh look at this what do we have here a denton ding version of the kids Nice. The Outcast homage, the Virgin edition, Denton Ding version of this. Let's do this for a nice price, folks, of $10. $10 on the discount. Denton Ding version, $10 of the kids. Stankonia. Stankonia homage right here. Some Outcast homage action going on. Ten dollars. What's up, everybody? Let's just join over on IG. We're over on YouTube. Congratulations! If you come to IG, on if you buy anything tonight, you're gonna get something extra for free. Ten dollars right here. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Claim for hot mustard gas. You got it. Thank you, Pizza Kin. Blip. Hot mustard gas. I wonder what that smells like. Hot mustard gas. Not good. Yeah, probably not a pleasant smell. Huh? Nope. Yeah. Hot mustard gas with a good claim right there. Blip like that. Pop that down. Blip, blip, blip. All right. Anybody going to WonderCon? Who's going to WonderCon, folks? Yeah, the Norse North mythology vibe. But definitely, they're, they're essentially the, the Viking-y type people that come very, very close to... Um, Dusu's whole realm. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah. And what, um, what, what god do they come from? What's their god? Um, Urzog, the god of strength and war. Urzog, the god of strength. So All right, to... this is um, this is another really. This is a very significant <laughs> event in Niobe. Oh, claim for Lily Blue. She wants to claim one as well. All right, we have another one. In there, so claim for Lily Blue as well. She gets one too. Lily's like, I want to get that extra freebie. I'm gonna slide in for that dent and ding for 10 and pick yeah. up the freebie. That's a smart, that's a smart lady right there. Oh, let's see, Rick. Let me see that what you got. On it. Let's see what Rick's doing right there. Playing with some vast stars. What the f look at that, bro. The only character, the only character that matters in all of Asunder. Look, yeah. just looks just like Rick. Uh, well, Bass, I mean, Quincy. <laughs> it does look just like Quincy, especially yeah. after the con, right? Show that, show that one, that Omdar as well again, bro. This one, mm, what yeah. I was doing earlier. Yeah, look at that shit. Wasu's dad. That's amazing, bro. Thank you, sir. That's awesome. It's great. It's magical shit right there. Okay. So I'm gonna do this uh, next one up. Next, next uh, Denton Ding. This is a seminal moment in Niobe's life. Yes. All right. First claim gets Niobe. She is death. She is death. Issue four. Niobe. She is death. Issue four. Very important cover yes. with the broken sword. Um, it's got some scuffs here at the bottom. I'll do the first claim on this for six dollars for a steal. Claim for Shani. Look at that. Shani's like coming in, like pew, 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 pew. Shani. You better read the, the other editions of She Is Death before you read this. That'd have been a good question. What character do they break out of? A sort of prison in that book. Who do they break out of? Who do they free out of that so said prison? Oh, yeah. yeah. I know who that is. Yeah. In that book, who is set free? Okay, go on. Let's, let's, Quincy's like, um, for, for OGs oh. right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You get a free ding ding book. Okay. If you can tell me that book that said, just we're just holding, uh, she had that issue for. Who was broken out of prison and who broke her out? Two questions. Oh, two-parter. Wow. Who was 
So 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 one person can get one. So two people can get one, or one person can get two. Who was broken out of, uh, of a certain prison, and what was the character's name that broke this character out of that said prison? And then, Shawnee, what I should do with you, Don, is give you um, a couple of reader deals. Like, if you want to get all the trade paperbacks or all the regular hardcovers are a bit cheaper than the Kickstarter edition hardcovers with the wraparounds and things, I could do a bundle discount, and then that way you can kind of read everything as well. So, yeah, um, you know, I can just hop on a call with you real quick, uh, maybe tomorrow or later and uh, get get you um get you get you clued in to the world and seb you can continue while they're trying to figure out the answers and hey everybody on ig we're also on youtube right now that's why uh we're talking and i need a, I need a prop for the phone for Darryl, my man daryl who's uh prefers the ig to, so he can see everything and i'll i'll get i'll get that sorted out next week um all right another denton dinged is let's see what we got cooking here uh, very pretty matching one right here another tahani right here this is of not the it's the gold feather it is not as rare as the blue feather well this one's really fucked all right i'll do this one oh that's amazing thank you shawnee that's amazing that's amazing well no what we do have is you can get the sets and trade paperbacks, which is obviously a lot cheaper if you want, don't want the hardcovers and you just want to get them the these sets as well. We can uh, we can do sets of these. These should be 125. I can do sets of all the trade paperbacks for 80. All six books. These should be 125. I can do the entire set for 80. Um, okay. This is really kind of scuffed down here. I will do this edition of the Dahani Far for seven dollars. Oh, bring my back to the big street. Thank you, Josh. Look at me. I'm just tripping while Quincy's just in his phone. It's like a con. I'm not. I'm, I'm sitting. I'm, <laughs> he, I'm doing comments on the. He's posting the trivia. He's posting the trivia. I'm posting. All right, the there trivia. you go. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Shawnee. I appreciate that very, very much. All right, first claim of this yellow feather edition for. Let's do this one actually for. I actually don't remember that. Boo. You, do you remember this cover, Celeste? You have you got this in your Patreon. This one actually is really, really dinged. I feel like this one I'm just gonna do for three dollars. It's really fucked, to be it's honest. Really, yeah. Three three dollars gets this one. Oh, Celeste so saying I don't remember the person. Oh gotcha, gotcha. Three dollars on the feather, on the gold feather claim. Might have a better, a slightly better one too. Oh no, they're all fucked. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? One dollar. Claim. One dollar. Okay, Daryl Counts is claiming it for a dollar. Yes, Felix. Uh, yes, one dollar on these golds because they're really, really, really. Sh Shag down here. Like one dollar. Daryl Counts is claiming one of the golds for a dollar. The blue feather. Um, yes, Belixar. The blue feather. There is another one, and these are actually in really good shape. So I can do a claim for Shani for a dollar. Disaster piece. All right. Let me see how many gold feathers I've got at that price. And the blue feather was twenty-two dollars. If you wanted that, Belixar, the blue feather, the, it's in really good shape. It's a forty. It's a forty-dollar comic, so I'll pop that down for you, unless you change your mind, okay? And then let's see how many of those I can do for um, for one dollar. Let's see. Um, all right. Let's see. It is not a sensor. That's a good, good answer, but no. Let's see. Okay. 
So let's see how many claims do we have. We had Disaster P, Shani, Chris, and we had Daryl and J Dub for the golds for a dollar. So it's one, two. Let me see how many I've got. Yep. All right. All of those ones for a dollar, Josh, can get it. These are all one dollar comics. So we've got on Instagram, Josh, Daryl counts for a dollar, J Dub for a life for a dollar. Um, so that's, and then we've got on the YouTube, we've got Disaster Piece, Shani, and Chris for a dollar. So all five of these for one dollar gets all five of these. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. And um, and Belixar gets that dent and dings blue for 22. Okay, thank you very much. Um, all right, I think I think that is it for the evening um i i don't i think i'm just way too i'm way too fried if you guys oh okay so but let's 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 get to the let's go for a, one more round maybe while folks see quincy gave you the hint guys the, okay, here's another hint. The hint is Rick. D <laughs> is he stubbly? Is he stubbly? Does he have that real rough stubble like Quincy likes? <laughs> or is he shaving? No, no, she is not stubbly. Ah, okay. Scarlock is the person doing oh. the rescuing. Okay, okay, so so that that's so so you won. So it was a, it's a it's a two part question. So Scarlock is the character that broke that this character out of that prison. So so uh, so let's get um, one free ding ding. So who? So now the question is, who did Scarlock break out of that prison? And the hint is, we've seen her on this live. We've seen her on this live. That's a great hint. All right, and it's not Niobe, but Niobe's in there. She's helping rescue as well, but it's not Niobe. It is a character that we saw earlier. And this is the last Denton Ding I'm going to do. Oh, okay. oh that's a, that one. That's a nice oh one. My. Oh, my. There you go. A really, the red assassin lady. It is an assassin lady we saw earlier. It is not, but it's not Assessor. All right, last Denton thing I'm going to do the evening, guys. Tales of Asunder, issue zero. There it is, so you guys can see it both on IG from my man Daryl and J-Dub. And then um, there you go, guys. A little scuff right there. A little mark right there. So, guys. $20 comic. I will do this for $8. $8. That's, and a, why you... that's a good deal. Okay, so 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 this is... This is uh... A good reason why we're doing the podcast, because we're going to dive deeply into the lore. The so you can read the shit. Yeah, you know, so we're going to dive deep into the lore, the connections from book to book. Playing for sure. Like, yeah, so like, you know, so you guys can have a better idea of what you're reading, I guess, if you read at all. <laughs> if you read our books at all. <laughs> Even if you don't read the books, you hey, can at least get, get the backstories, right? True, 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 true. That's Thank you very much, Shani. Shani is new to the to uh, Julio Iglesias' daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's right with the daughter. What the fuck, my autocorrect? <laughs> okay, so she is, a she is a daughter. Good night, Daryl. Thank you so much, bro, for the claims. Have a good night. Good night. She's right with the heading there. And thank you so much, Shani, for all the, the claims coming on. It's uh, really much appreciated. Okay, I, I, another uh, – Jesus, guys. Another another hint. Uh, we we just showed Rick's – Rick did a painting of her that we showed tonight. Oh, my. You saw the in progress, yep. We saw the, we saw the in progress of that character that I'm talking about tonight. The tie-ins are crazy, folks. Read the books. You might enjoy them, you know. <laughs> We might have to like do a, another re another pat the red haired lady. That's assessor, Shani. That's a good guess. 
Um, it was not the Silver King. <laughs> oh, but you're getting That's... closer. It's like, sounds like... She I is. am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I feel like I should read something from, again, from a, a, a passage from the, a book here so people remember why you want to read this shit. Yeah, like. Okay, so this is from this book right here. You ready? Here we go. Have the spirit stopped listening to the wind, the rain, and the drum? Have they lost the scent of earth and the taste of smoke, aloof to the touch of firstborn flame? They bend down to the water but forget to drink, trapped in adoration of bleak reflection, alone in the shallows of conceit. Is love dying for each other and the God within, making room for the devil to be? Hold on to love. That's some fucking dope. Yeah, that's some dope writing right there, you know. Yeah, so the so podcast, we, the podcast, it will be us doing, uh, uh, we'll be reading, we'll be doing co-reads of the uh, of the books. We'll be breaking down each issue. We'll be like, we'll be di- taking a deep dive into the lore that is Asunda for you guys. You know what I'm saying? To kind of help you guys, like, understand the, Easter eggs, the connections, you know what I'm saying? The depth of each character, you know, the tie-ins and so much, so forth. We already finished one episode that's getting edited, so it's going to be exciting time for you guys to tune in on to that. And, okay, nobody has got, okay, it starts with an L. Ah! Hey, Chris! (laughs) Chris, I I guarantee, Chris was like, Scrolling up real quick, going like, uh, yeah. that chick again? He's like scrolling up through the the the, the, uh, the chats, like Lonnie. Lonnie. Lonnie was in prison in a certain uh was in prison in a certain uh cell that um. Chris was, like yes. <laughs> Lonnie was in prison in a type of cell that was that uh, stopped her from using her uh power. <laughs> That's right. Disaster piece's real name is Tulani. What the <laughs> fuck? It's like my motherfucker's wow. name. Is wow. Wow. <laughs> Scarlock, Scarlock is a Morkai, and he, he uh freed uh Lani, who's half Morkai, half human, right? And, and, La- and Lani was in prison in a certain prison that keeps Morkai super elves from manipulating shadow. It was super bright. Are you about to say yes? You might show it. I just want to. I just want to show this image again. That's how dope that page is. But I'm going to show Lonnie at the end. Disaster <laughs> piece went. I'm so drink. She didn't say I'm so drunk. She's so drunk. She said I'm so drink. Bro, I'm so drink over here. Guys. That makes me so happy. So that is that is Lonnie imprisoned, right there, and she's imprisoned in light because she's half Morkai to keep her from manipulating the shadows. And Scarlock is the one that, well, now being in, in company, but Scarlock is the one that freed her and uh, escaped with her. So that's like I read it way long time ago. I think it. I think it's time for everyone to have a good re. You know what we should do, bro? On a Thursday is have quiz night. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, dude. we can do Thursday trivia, huh? Thursday be- trivia. I mean, cause like it's like yeah, like. For thank sure, you Sean, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the support and buying the books. But it's just like, I think it's one thing to read them, but just to get in, like, get deeper with them. You know what I'm saying? I think it's it's another level to this, and, I, and that's, that's what the podcast is for. That's what the podcast is be for to get to get a deeper level of understanding of the books you guys are reading. And I think once you have that deeper understanding, you'll uh, appreciate it more. You know, for real. Yeah. And if you're not on the Patreon, guys, don't forget, join the Patreon. It'll give you access to read everything digitally for free. And um, with the new podcast and the new videos that we've got coming up and the documentary that we're working on. The doc. The doc. If you want to be in the documentary, part of the documentary, you want to be a producer in the documentary, all the things that we've got coming up is, is going to be crazy. So if you're not a member of the Patreon, Back it, even if it's five dollars a month, you'll be a happy camper. How do you get to the Patreon? Go to strangercomics.com. Um, I can actually show you. 
Um, look, what is this? I'm so high tech. It's crazy. Shared screen. Oh. If you look at, yeah, bro. Look, watch this. It's crazy. Who this is you how that? high tech I am. Look at this. Look at that. So you go to the Strange Comics website. You can either just go here, Patreon page. And if the folks that are watching from um, from IG, you go to Stranger Comics' website. There's the Patreon right there. Join the Patreon, even if it's $5 a month. Be a part of it. If you've seen The Woman King, too soon better of The Woman King, she's writing new Niobe comics with us. Scroll down here. You can also just literally click on Be a Stranger, Join the Patreon. That's how you join and... Uh, you will also have access to the Patreon only store. And you get 20% off the website. It actually saves you money. It's a it's it's a crazy steal. If you buy stuff on the website, five dollars a month will save you money. So jump on the Patreon. Five dollars a month. And uh yeah, it's uh it's the move. So um all right, guys. Um, thank you. Speaking of quiz, don't forget we're doing that in the English pub in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's right. You have music. Thank you. That's awesome, Shani. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Shani. I'll hit you up on the chat. Um, good night, everyone on IG. I want to sign off on IG first. Good night, everyone on IG. Let's end that now. Flip. And um, huge thank you to everyone on uh, YouTube Live for a lovely, lovely evening. I had a, I had a great, great time. Um, and we will get on to the back to Dead in the Brief next week when I'm more alert and awake. And um, good night, Pamela. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Disaster Peace. Um, I appreciate you very, very much, Disaster Peace. You know, in... Um, in all of your drink ways. Um, <laughs> no, I appreciate all the love and support big time. I really, really do. Absolutely. Good night, Belixar. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for all the claims. Thanks just for hanging out and just joining us. It means the world to us. It really does. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. As always, Rick. Rick doesn't even know, bro. I was trying. Oh. Mine, okay, we'll, we'll save mine. <laughs> oh, shit. Of course, she has to be all upside down and shit. Upside down, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That, this one's not the upside down one, right? That one took me. What? Oh, uh, no. Fuck. How did I do it? <laughs> I did it. I did it in, in, in the podcast. <laughs> Thank you, Shani. I'll, I'll pass it on for sure. Thank you, darling. All right, guys. You guys have a great night. Much love to everybody. Peace out. Have a great Peace. night. See you next week. Peace. Yep. Good night, everyone. Thanks.